Holy monkeys. Yo, Kane, what the heck? What the heck, Kane? That's crazy, dude. Last time, like, oh, wait, I'm playing. I was watching Carl here. Um, What the heck, Kane? Thank you so much, dude. That is so generous of you, man. I appreciate it. Holy crap. Hey, yo, welcome back. Hey, Frosty, I'm back. Better than ever. I had issues with family member, uh, oh no, passing recently. You're feeling better? That's great, man. Hey, sorry to hear that, but thank you for the 20, man. That's so generous. That it's funny because I just spent twenty bucks on the game. You just on I just spent twenty bucks on the DLC. You just paid for the DLC right there. Thank you, Kane. <laughs> this this DLC is sponsored by Kane. So <laughs> Oh man, show him all the love. Oh my gosh. I literally just spent twenty bucks on the game. You know, and then and then Kane is like I start I start the game I already made the money back. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Kane. I appreciate that, man. That's so cool of you. Dude, uh, oh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thanks for your support, man. Thank you. Mialissa is here. Hello, Mialissa. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Final Fantasy 16. Uh, the DLC just dropped today. Well, you know, uh, so we're going to be... Um... gonna be experiencing that and uh basically just experiencing that right see where that leads us Dun. where's my controller okay here we go guys all the hype for king thank you so much thanks frosty for the support i'm, I'm here for you man thank you so much yo listen robert how are you guys doing good to see you and pablo is here hey pablo what's going on pablo Hey, Pickaxe, welcome in. How is Pickaxe doing today? All right, let's see what this DLC has to offer. It should be about three, four hours of gameplay, depending on how long I take. But uh, thanks for purchasing uh, the access to Rising Tide quest line. You must first have unlocked Origin on the old, uh, uh, as well as completed side quests where there's Will and Priceless to unlock Kaios Gate. Battle content in the hideaways, Arit Stone. You must first clear both the game. Okay. Redeem bonus items. Bonus items will be available. Okay, so there's a few bonus items. All right, let's go ahead and continue. The Rising Tide's quest line, a new quest line, the Rising Tide is now available by inspecting and reading uh, Sable in Clive's hideaway chambers. Okay, well, it tells us how to get it. That's great. Doing good. How's everybody doing? Dopey pickaxe. Doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I have beaten this game uh, twice. A hard mode and normal mode. That's why I have Ultima Weapon right there. Which, let me tell you, was not easy to get. Ultima Weapon was not easy to get. Uh, I did get it just because I like this game so much. So, we did, we did complete uh, all the side quests. On both modes, actually. Oh, you don't have a PlayStation 5? Did you see the gameplay, Pablo? Have you seen, like, the throughout the game? Yeah, I was lucky to get my PS5. Um, I spent I spent a lot of money, but I also saved a lot of money, so... Yeah, I spent some time... I spent months, like, saving money for it, and I ended up buying it. Because I really wanted to play uh, FF16 and FF7 Rebirth. And that's, like, legit the biggest reason why I even bought... This is the biggest reason why I even bought a PlayStation 5, to be honest with you. Even though I'm a big PlayStation fan, I, like, I put Nintendo and PlayStation there. I'm not not a big fan of, um... I like Microsoft products, but I'm just not, not, not a big fan of... I mean, I'm okay with Microsoft, just not Xbox. Xbox was never my thing. Uh, it just, it just... It was just never my thing. It looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. So we're on, we're going to try something kind of cool here, okay? Alright, uh, ability sets. Tired of having too many old just iconic ability sets each time you want to use different abilities. Did you know that you can register up to five iconic abilities? Alright, yeah, this is a new, a new feature. Um, I've unlocked everything, I have everything unlocked. 
Everything is at 100% plus 20,000 AP, so... I mean, I, I can use whatever, uh, except for Leviathan, so probably a good thing that I have 20,000 AP. Well, let's go back in there. I actually want to check out a few more things. All right, let's check out what treasure we have. We, we have Kurtana. Kurtana is a weapon uh, taking up this expertly crafted blade in one's hands invokes strange yet familiar images of burdens both bone born and overcome that is strange tom tom of heavens what adds new song to the hideaway okay well let's claim this and through add a new song to the hideaway okay that's that's hardly anything right that's hardly anything all right, let's make sure we're under um, performance mode. I want to make sure I'm under performance mode here. No PS5 life. Oh, Melissa. When I get rich, I'm gonna I'm gonna help you with that. Okay, we're at frame. Okay, we're at frame rate. Okay, because at frame rate, it's supposed to be 60 FPSs, and this is not running at 60 FPS. You'll call me crazy, but I've seen 60 FPS. This is not 60 FPS. This this is might be close, but not not quite. I'd say about 50, 57, maybe. Okay, this is where I need to go. I still don't have everything in this mural. Um, I'm missing... I'm missing one here, right? I'm missing one there, which is okay. I think it's DLC stuff. It might be DLC stuff, I'm not sure. I'm missing one. I'm pretty sure I have it in my first playthrough. This is my second playthrough in hard mode. Yeah. Alright, let's get to it. Oh, actually, before we do that, let me check out that... Let me check out that weapon, Kurtana. At 160... Let's equip this just to see what it looks like. Oh, I have the skin on. Okay, so I can't I can't even do that. Yeah, I'm not gonna equip Cortana. I'm sorry. Uh Omega Weapon reforged. Uh it's very uh it's kind of crazy because I, I forged Ultima Weapon and it took me so long. And it basically has uh 700 critical hit, 700 attack. But then you go to the DLC, which came out like two weeks after I did all of that. And now the DLC gives you a weapon with 700 crit and 700 uh, attack. And I was like, why did I get Ultima Weapon in the first place? But I prefer the design of Ultima Weapon, even though all the weapons look kind of cool. Uh, Ultima Weapon is my favorite. Okay, we have something unmarked. I shall not waste... Oh, this is Sid? Oh no, this is them addressing me as Sid? I guess so. Leviathan's Dominant is in need of rescue. And despite my innumerable misgivings about joining hands with an outlaw of the highest dispute, disrupt, dis, disrepute, the dame has assured me that there is none better suited to the task at hand. I dare not reveal one... More the for fear. I can't read the letters are too small, man. I'm having a really hard time reading this. Let me get a little closer. Uh, Dame has uh, assured me that there is none better suited for the task at hand. I dare not reveal more for fear this missive missive could fall into the wrong hands. But if what little I have end here has kindled, why is he using such hard words? Your interest, I bid you journey to the Vale in Northreach and inquire with one Layla. She will surely see you satisfied. Sure, let's go there. The Northreach, huh? Leviathan the Lost. But why now? After all this time. Why, what now? Uh oh, Jill? Oh, I love Jill. Hey, Goten. Oh, I'm not sure you believe me if I told you. After all we've been through. I doubt there's anything that could surprise me at this point. The voice acting is a little different. All right then. 
Rouse Joshua and meet me in the mess. We'll talk there. Meet me in the mess? What kind of mess are we talking? Yeah, the... Um, I, 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 I feel like the dialogue is different. Like, they changed the character. Like, I see we're all it's here. not the same. So, what is it this time? Hmm, Leviathan. Not sure yet. The letter delivered to my chambers omitted a few crucial details. Do we know its provenance? That was one of the details it omitted. But whoever the sender was, it seems the dame held them in high enough regard to point them in our direction. The dame? Well, she's not one to waste our time. Mm. It must be important. Well, it's the Leviathan. Important might be an understatement. If the letter is to be believed, Leviathan's dominant is in danger. And someone wants us to save him. Leviathan? Him or her? So the Warden of Water has finally returned. What has it been? A hundred years? More. The lost moniker dates back at least that long. Even our venerable Lawsman would not have been so much as a glint in his father's eye when last the mighty serpent brought his crushing waves to bear upon the realm. But what the gap? Huh. I know it can be a few years before a new dominance born. Over a century. Yeah, why a century? Should the dominant of water's bloodline have been severed somehow, it could have prevented a new dominant from awakening. But if one has awakened now, he couldn't have chosen a worse time. Every nation in the realm has lost its dominant. If word gets out that there is still one to be had, they will stop at nothing to claim it for their own. And the twins will be at war again, just when humanity most needs to come together. Did the letter say anything else? Only that if I wish to know more, we must meet in person. Okay. And that the veil can arrange a meeting. Chris! Hi, Chris! Christina! Eddie! You can be certain it ain't a trap. <laughs> Famous last words. Ah. I'm coming. Thank you, Jill. I'm so glad you're coming, Jill. I. Thank you. Both of you. And Otto. He's not coming. Yeah. I'll keep an eye on things here. Yeah. Didn't fancy coming anyway. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I shall leave the invincible in your capable hands. Ah, Christina, you got spoiled. Carter, hello, Carter. Chris, how you? How are you, Chris? JJ, hello, JJ. I just saw you too. Hi, JJ. Uh, with this game, was this game a grind? Uh, a little bit with side quests. The side quests. Even though I enjoy them, by the end of the game, they were getting a little overwhelming. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. It's just that they were getting a little, a little overwhelming. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, guys. How is everyone? Doing okay, Frosty? How are you? Doing okay? Yeah, Sarah, did I spoil you a little bit? Joshua, how is he here? Hello, I will finish 16 soon. Do you have 16, uh, Christina? That's not Joshua, by the way. Congrats on 900 uploads, Frosty. I know we hit Phantom. Nice eye. We did hit 900 uploads. It's not sure. Christina, it's not him. It's his. It's a spectral image of him. We find a spectral image of him through in the game, somewhere in a dungeon. Like there, he's being he's being harassed by the spirits of Dalmatians that are angry at Hades for killing them or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, that's what happened. Plenty! Plenty gamma. Plenty gamma. Plenty playing some Stardew Valley. Are you playing some Stardew Valley? I saw you. I saw you. You're playing some Stardew Valley with, with Donkey. Are you naughty? Naughty playing with Donkey.
Nice to see you in both streams. Yeah, Plenty stops by here every now and then. Uh, the rising tide are indicated with, okay, well, to-do list, all right, prioritizing the tides. If you wish to restore the main scenario objectives to the do list, okay, no, I'm, why would I want to do that? All right, um, okay, um, What should I do? I'm trying to think, is there something I want to do? Every now and then, you goose. I don't miss a stream. Well, I, well, but you don't use the chat. I don't know. How, how do you want me to guess that? I don't know. As far as I know, you're. I only see you in the chat a few times. But I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. Okay, we can go to the Reed Stone. Before we get on with the show. Sword looks cool. Oh, that's... That's Ultima Weapon. Very hard to get in this game. Takes... Takes very, 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 very long to get this, uh... Yeah, it's Ultima Weapon. Um, I have Omega Weapon and Ultima Weapon. I can show you. See? Ultima Weapon. And then there's also Omega Weapon Reforged. Um, and the Masamune. And I have the Buster Sword as well, but don't worry about that. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? I prefer Snow White. There's the Omega weapon. Pretty cool. I won't lie. Pretty cool. Let me look at this Cortana. Wow, Cortana looks pretty cool too. It looks like very broken or something. The Braveheart, um, Final Fantasy 1's uh, Warrior of Light sword. You might recognize this. This is the sword of Final Fantasy 1's character. Got to make sure tomorrow was April Fool's. Why? Is that Frosty collab? I'm so excited. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, we're doing, uh, we're doing a collab for sure. I hope, uh... I hope you guys, uh... I hope you guys enjoy it. I really do. I warn you, he burps a lot. I'll put him in his place. I put him in this place. Said Zed, if you burp in front of me, I walk out. No more burping, Zed. No more burping, Zed. Okay, no more burping, derping. All right. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him. Tell him. Tell him. I'm gonna say Zed. If you burp in front of me, we can't be friends anymore. He's gonna say, I know, Frosty. I'm so sorry. And I'm gonna say, oh, don't let it happen again. I'm still clearing my ears. <laughs> That's so high, Frosty. Yeah, we'll do uh, some Mario Odyssey. So, yeah, you guys uh, make sure make sure you're there for us, and you know, for those who have time, make sure you're there for us and show us the support. Both me and Zed show the support, and uh, we'll we might be inclined to do it again, right? If people are showing a lot of support, then we feel more inclined to do it again. Of course, we also have fun with it, uh, absolutely, but we also, we also like to have you guys there to, you know, Looks like you've got and I know, I know most of you are going to be there. I know that. But enough talk. How about we retire to the Hmm, is this Leia? The veil, my lord? Layla. Looking for a Layla. <laughs> you found one Ooh. hi johanna so, hi your how's your day joining in or just watching <laughs> <laughs> a 
uh, we're not here for your services. We simply want to talk. What you do with your time is up to you. The price is still the same. <laughs> wow. Uh, we hear about the letter. Oh. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I suppose you'll be wanting to know who wrote it then. That was you. Among other things. Good? Look, nice. I'm just the messenger here. There's only so much I can tell you. Specifically? A location. North of town, on the shore of Eulafeist Bay. Eulafeist. you'll find a tent and the woman who can answer your questions. This woman is very strange. She has dark skin, blue eyes, and white hair. I've never seen a combination like that. There's more than flowers in the meadows these days. So keep that sword of yours to hand. Alright, uh, we gotta go to Oshawiksha, Oshawiksh Bay. Make for the coastline. You're kidding me. Does anyone else think it's strange that this woman should prefer to keep to the outskirts of town? Not if she realizes the value of the information she's party to. And the danger it puts her in. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen any of those beastly blue-eyed fiends. I don't suppose uh, there's a way out through here. I don't suppose there is, actually. To me, girl! Ambrosia! I still remember how to play this game. It's incredible how muscle memory works. Run like the wind. I still remember the buttons, which is crazy. Have not having played this in a while. Has your day been good, Frosty? It has been good. You know, it has been good. Uh, nothing to complain about here, personally. I've been having a good day. I've been, been having a good day. I mean, aside from, you know, my, my own yes, mental difficulties, you know, and my own... You know, my own insecurities, my own fears, my own stuff like that, but other than that, you know, pretty good. Search the area around. Okay, inspect the tent. You call this a tent? Girl! It's empty. Why am I not surprised? I get very dark. You get dark? Like, dark how? Like your skin color? Mm -mm. Yeah, she was she was pretty dark, uh, and also like her hair was white and, and eyes were blue. It's just a combination that I haven't seen. And she had like a baby doll face. Mm -hmm. Inspect the cliff. Were we looking for mushrooms or? Guess we gotta go on the boat. Mom's gone gaming. How you guys doing? How you doing, Carl? Who that belongs to. It doesn't belong to me. Well, I guess it does now. Continue the search. Probably belongs to Layla, right? Or Leviathan? Hey, Torgol. How are you? Oh boy, I'm gonna miss you guys. Inspect the fit fire pit. What happened here? The embers are still warm. You guys don't want to miss this DLC. It's gonna be I'm epic. Sid. I'm Sid. Who wants to know? Leviathan. It's her sister. It's her sister. I mean, the the resemblance is uncanny. Which means you have me at a disadvantage. Apologies. I am Shula, tributary of Mesidia, final haven of the Moats of Water. The Moats of Water. The very tribe into which it was believed Leviathan's dominant was born. Mm. Which makes her for their sapphire eyes and ivory hair. Ah, that's why. Yes, that would be impossible since the tribe famously. You just seen two of them, though. Vanished. Was exterminated. Wow. 
Oh my god! Despite the best efforts of both church and state, we are still very much alive. Though we've managed to keep that fact hidden from good Grieger's faithful for over a century. Along with Leviathan's dominant. That wave out there. What do you know of it? What happened, Mama Cat? Oh, I've never played Elden Ring. I'm not... I don't know. Elden Ring doesn't... It just doesn't seem like my kind of game. Aww, welcome Mama Cat to the Lemon Drops. What the heck? Guys, let's make sure to give Mama Cat all the love. Thank you so much for that, friend. What happened, Mama Cat? She's drunk and apparently stressed. Oh boy. Thank you so much, my friend, for becoming a lemon drop. That means the world, all the hype for Mama Cat and all the love. I hope this is not an impulse decision <laughs> for being drunk. Literally, I have no reason to be stressed. It's been a great week. And that's why you're stressed. That's exactly the reason why you're stressed. Is because things have been going good. And they're not supposed to be going good, right? Well, at least that's what we tell ourselves, right? But that's why you're stressed. You're stressed because things are going good. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Feel like something is looming, yeah. Yeah, and that's why you don't allow yourself to just be happy when things are good. Making some egg rolls. Why don't you have some, uh... You know what helps me feel better? Fruit. How about some fruit? Why not some fruit? This week has been magical. Oh, nice! Earthling, I see you, Earthling. It's good to see you, brother. Wontons. You have wontons? Okay. Egg rolls, pizza rolls, and fruit roll uh, roll ups. Hey, ten months, Earthling, and thank you, Mama Cat, so much. Really appreciate you becoming a member there. I really, 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 really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Earthling, as well, for uh that support right for the support right there, man. I appreciate you so much, man. Ten months. Hello, Frosty. Hi, other lemon drops there as well. I hope all is well. How are things going with you, man? How are you feeling? All my problems are solved. I'm healed. <laughs> All right. Now, okay. With that, that solves that. Well, that fixed that pretty quickly. Search. Only that it's been there a long time. Since the fall of Drake's eye almost a century ago. Some claim the two are connected, but none can speak with any certainty. Okay. So in other words, you know nothing. Yeah, you're about to tell us though, right? Not that I'll hold it against you. Just tell me if you're the dominant. The wave was raised by Leviathan in an act of rage. Moments before the waters were stayed, and the icon and its dominant bound within. And you want us to rescue him? Yes. You see, a little bird told me about a certain outlaw with a singular knack for putting unruly dominance in their place. And ours is about as unruly as they get. Ooh. For years, we've searched for someone who could hold their own against an icon. Someone just like you. So what do you say? Will you help us? I'll be there with you. I'll, I'll be... Exactly did your you and me in that boat, lady. You, me, and that boat. What did he do? He committed the greatest crime one of his kind can. He was born. Born a man? Is it because he's a man or because he's a dominant? Fate than the one my people forced upon him. 
He deserves to be free. Oh. I think I'm getting this wrong. I picked up this wrong. So the sin... Okay, I get it. Far-fetched though your tale may seem. Something tells me you speak in earnest. So we will do what we can for your dominant. But first, you will tell us everything you know about him and the means of his imprisonment. I can do better than that. Ah. Oh, not this girl again. Sure, yeah. Care to take a trip across the bay? My people await you there. Lead the way. Shula. Okay, so, alright, uh, a couple of things there, right? A couple of things there to unpack. Very interesting stuff. Jersey Mike? Who's talking about Jersey Mike? Who saw my pout poutine? I did not see it. Did you put it on the Discord or something? I have pizza rolls, so not that. I love Jersey Mike's. Mmm. Jimmy John's is great too. Yeah, Jimmy John's is all right. Jimmy John's. I'm uh, not not the biggest fan. Mm -mm. First crochet student, huh? Nice. I love crochet. Do you crochet, uh, Mama Cat? A few things to unpack there. So apparently, she's not the dominant. None of them are the dominant. When she was saying, like, the only ill fate he had was being born, I thought she meant, like, him being born, like, it, I, I meant, like, because he was a man, maybe, you know, because it could be, like, an all-women thing. That's the, th the first thing that came to my mind, but I guess that was completely wrong. It's because, it's because he, he, he committed a grave sin, apparently. Uh, so he's trapped in that wave that when he lost control with Leviathan, I guess he created that wave and, like, was trapped in it. And that's why Leviathan never respawned. Because the original never died. Right? So it's kind of like the cycle of the Avatar, like Aang, right? Aang, Aang was the same Avatar from a hundred years ago. And the reason another Avatar wasn't born again was because Aang was trapped in the ice, right? So a hundred years and the Avatar is still the same. And this is the same story here. This guy is instead, he's trapped in that crystal out there. And that's why a new Leviathan was never born because he's in prison there. Now, what did he do, I guess, is what we're going to find out, right? Very interesting. I, wa I wonder if he stole Mama Cat's pizza rolls. Could be. It could, it could be that he stole some pizza rolls or something. Emilio! And Sarah! Hi, Emilio and Sarah. I made my best friend forever a red Lapras for his birthday. I'll post it. Oh, nice. Sarah, how are you? Hello. Hello, Emilio as well. How are you? So interesting, hap inter interesting things happening. Oh, okay. You put it on Discord, JJ? Interesting things happening in this in this story right now. Ooh, new spot in the in the Deadlands, in the Lost Cloak. But that's not a mother. It's oh, that was Drake's eye. But wait a minute, something's off here. Something's very off here. Uh, if you manage to navigate the cloak's narrow uh, mountaintop pass without plummeting to your death, okay, well. Breathtaking views, huh? I'm liking the idea of Leviathan. Leviathan was spoken about in the game, but never... No one knew where it was, right? I don't know why we aren't taking Mid's ship. It's a, it's a much better ship. Why are we taking this old... This old Link to the Past boat? All right. you might want well, to hold on to something. I'll hold on to you, baby. I'm sorry, I'm joking. It was a joke. It was a joke. Look at her. She's gorgeous. How do you, what do you expect me to say? What do you expect me to say? Look at her. Look at those eyes. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Okay. 
<laughs> just, uh, I mean, what do you want me to say? I agree with you. I know you do, Bobs. Give me five. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Take a bit of getting used to. No. I don't see any wall. Of course oh. you don't. That's the point. It's invisible? And that's why we couldn't see it. Okay. Yeah, don't ram us into it. Oh. Oh, it's invisibility spell. Oh. That was I'm echoing. A slug of Bacchus wine. Okay. Clive. I do something different then. There we go. How's that? Blue, but how is that possible? What? The sky is blue. You know what the glamour is, don't you? No, absolutely not. Ours just happens to work both ways, and a good thing too. I wouldn't fancy staring at those sickly clouds every day. The rising tides. Yes. Thank you, moms. Thank you, moms, for letting me know. A frosty after dark ti dark ti uh, <laughs> frosty after dark ti that concludes our little voyage. We're here. Alright, so apparently the glamour is the spell that you know, you can look at the sky however you want, because the sky is dead, right? And I always thought it was weird, because when I saw the trailers, like... The sky is dead because Ultima cast uh, Pryogenesis, right? Primogenesis. Uh, which is a super spell that basically starts killing the it's light. And the makes it night forever. A hard one. I, uh, hope you're up for a climb. Hmm. I'm all about climbing. All right, mom. Sounds good. A glamour. It's giving Black Witch Chronicles. I've never seen Black Witch Chronicles. What is that? Tell me about it. Finally. I see you, Earthling. What? You didn't think we'd arrive, did nice, you? Nice, Mama. The village isn't up here. It's on the other side of the mountain. You don't have a car? Of course it is. You can cast a spell that like changes the weather. But you can't cast a spell to make some wheels? My gosh, she is built like a tank. Look at these thighs. Golly gee, brother me. My gosh, let me shake your dad's hand. What a good job that guy did. Uh, I'm obsessed. It's one of my favorites. I'm just being silly, guys. I'm just being silly. I just It's just for the jokes. What time are you streaming Saturday, Cat? Oh, that's right. I saw that you were streaming... Uh, you were streaming something. I forget what it was. You said us something about stream. It was... Uh, yeah, let us know. Let us know. Alright, so it seems like whatever it is that we're trying to find is on the other side of this mountain. Wow, but look at this, guys. You guys don't think this is beautiful? You're wrong. You're just wrong. Wow. What this game always was beautiful. This path can be treacherous. If not for the sheer drop, then for the beasts who prowl it. Thank you for the warning. And please, call me Clive. Sid. Is an alias. You will be pleased to learn, Lady Shula, that I have no such aliases. <laughs> is that so, Lord Margrace? <laughs> it's all the same to me. He used to be known as Margrace, right? I have no such aliases. I actually forgot about that, so that's a funny joke on the game. Funny Joshua. Dude, look at this, guys. Look at the water falling down. Isn't this beautiful? Look at the... Look at the, the flowers, dude. 
Wow. Just wow. You just can't beat Final Fantasy when it comes to stuff like this. You just can't. Corbin! Yo! Patrick! He can't get wet or he will dissolve. No, no, no. Actually, no. Actually, no. Clive... Clive is act actually Mama Cat. He is the summon... He is Ifrit. So he is fire. Technically. My gosh, I just got scared. <laughs> Somebody just walked in and just scared the living crap out of me because I have like, because I have my, my headphones, like I can't hear the door, I just see someone next to me. Like, <gasps> I just literally just dropped my heart, just dropped there. Ah, uh, Crystal, Patrick Nightmare, welcome in Crystal. I have a great idea, we should have a party. Oh shoot. We should have a party, she says. Maybe we should. <laughs> Crystal, thank you so much for that. How are you, Crystal? Welcome, 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 Crystal. I appreciate you being here, friend. And thank you for the... Gosh, I got so many things on my hands. Ah! Thank you for, um... Thank you for that donation, my gosh. Thank you so much, Crystal. If we can show some support back to Crystal and drop her link, uh, Crystal is a very nice streamer. So. Thank you, friend. Here's a big hug to you. Bringing it in. Let's go. Thank you so much. No problem. That's very nice of you. And you just came in and you're dropping the love. I try to be nice. No, you're fantastic. You're fantastic. Um, you're fantastic. You are. Thank you so much, guys, for all the hype. I'll make egg rolls. All right, make Bulbasaur-shaped egg rolls. I don't know how you're going to make that happen. But I'll tell you what, Mama Cat. I don't know if you played uh, Violet, Scarlet and Violet, but make Orthoworm. Is it Orthoworm or Orthopedic Worm? What's the name of the thing? Orthoworm, I think it is. Shaped egg rolls. That would be a little easier. Will you come over? It depends where you live. <laughs> do you live in California? <laughs> do, do you live in California? I don't think so. I think you're East Coast. I live in my house. Oh. Oh. Duh. I knew that. I knew that. I was, I was just asking for my, some other people might not have known. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate you so much. Stephanie! Ah, uh, Stephanie. Thank you again, Chris. All the hype for Chris. Lee. fantastic. There's the link for her. Not just uh, not just because of the donation, but because she spends a lot of time here, too. She always stops by to drop a like and say hello. She's just amazingly nice. Um, and I, I, it means the world to me, so she definitely deserves the support. She definitely deserves the support because... She gives it out in spades, too, so I think it's only fair. So, exit! Travis! Oh my gosh, all the superstars are coming in right now. My gosh, all the superstars. I'm here because this game is never going to work on my PlayStation 5. Who cares about spoilers anymore? I know, exit. It hurts my heart. Well, the only spoiler you're getting is the Ultima Blade... And some flowers in a cascade. If you guys notice, there's a cascade out there. Like right here, watch. You guys see that? You see there's one here? But it's not moving. It's not moving. You're, feel you're sick? Oh no! Hi bestie, hi, hi Travis. I know you're referring to me. I know you're referring to me. 
Can't be anyone else. Mm -mm -mm. Just finished up my member stream and I'm uh, just popping in to say hi. Well, Crystal, thank you for this, the support there. Kane, I don't know if you're still here, Kane. Thank you so much for the support as well. Everyone here, thank you for the support. I know uh, Earthling, thank you for being a member for so long. Sarah, last night, you were incredible. Sarah, thank you so much for the support as well, Sarah. And everybody, Melissa, I know all you guys have been really, really fighting hard for this channel as much as I have. And I, I just say thank you. You guys keep the channel alive and you, you keep me alive and you... You keep the flame burning, even though I'm a, I'm a snowflake, but not in the snowflake in the, in the term, in the, in the modern term of snowflake, yeah, snowflake in, in the, in the term that I'm cold and icy and cool, so. Only bestie I know here is Mama Cat. Well, you can go sniff a fart then. If I come over, Frosty, I will take you to the store that only sells honey. Hmm. Hmm. A store that only sells honey, you say. What kind of store is that? Wait, is that is that something I'm supposed to be picking up on? Let's see, Melissa. Uh, hi, Melissa. Uh, exit. You feeling sick, buddy? All right, let's get a move on. Oh, no! We got chickens here. See if I can still fight here. No, don't keep your uh, your axe to yourself. I'll take your axe. All right, let's just kill these things. Death from below. I just exploded. Ooh, bearer. Since when did a bearer ever need crystals? You're not a bearer. But then, where is your brand? Yeah. Waiting for me in Sunbreak, if I ever get careless. <laughs> then it's in for a long wait. Nah, nah, dude. Nah, there's no way. No way. There's no way. There's no way. She's, she's Leviathan. I already know. I already know. No brand. She's a bearer. No brand. No crystal. Get out of here. She's Leviathan. She's lying to us. Yo, Fola's here? What the heck? Savannah B Company? I love it there. I honestly, I honestly don't know it. I still don't see that water moving. That's bothering me. Four bloody hides, just what I want in my pocket. Some bloody hides. Wow, look at this alcove. So beautiful, We're so natural. The From yes. there, you'll have a better view of our home. She sounds a lot like um Boy, what's that person's name? You'll have a better home. Wait, who spoke like this in this game? Oh, um, Gaff. You have ever set eyes on what I'm about to show you. Just so you know. This is not what I expected. What is it? What is it? Welcome, my friends, to Mesidia. Mesidia. Wow. It's been a long time since I saw the north looking so right. So it should be dead. Life. I'm sure you have plenty of questions, but it's been a long journey and I expect we could all do with a rest. The mother crystal? Is that a mother Our crystal? The village is only a short way from here. Could it be that Drake's I eye to accompany me? Let's get ourselves in front of a fire. And I'll tell you everything you need to know. Something's fishy here, dude. Something's fishy here, dude. Who 
It's beautiful, Shula. And we aim to keep it that way. So what's with the what's with the light beam of godliness here? There's the village down there, but look, the fallen are here too. Wow. Whatever that is, is what's keeping Leviathan in check. Whenever we break that, which we probably will. Oh my gosh, it's a dog gazelle. It's a gazelle dog. Mm -mm. Hey, blue eyes. Welcome in, blue eyes. How are you? I have a hot friend to introduce you to, so I'll have to come visit. Oh, a hot friend, you say? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. You're trying to ship me, mama. You're trying to ship me. I wish he was my cousin. Yeah. This OST is beautiful. Everything about this has been so gorgeous. Make it to Shula's village. Oh, these are not enemies. They're just... My gosh. We've never seen this kind of animal before. We've never seen this kind of fauna before, so... Are those stones glowing? That's one of the cairns which maintain the glamour. Stay well clear. Oh, this maintains the glamour. Well, Sam Breck is gone, so... I mean, you don't really have anything to worry about. We completely annihilated Sam Breck. The only thing left is the Republic, or, um, the Dominion, I think. I forget which ones they are. Yeah, the only thing left are, uh, is, is, uh... No, and even then, I've killed them already. No, I've destroyed all of them. I already took care of the Republic as well. Yeah, everybody's gone. Like, they have nothing to fear. Every time you say Leviathan, I think it's Supernatural, the TV show. Is there a Leviathan there? Because Leviathan is a summon in the Final Fantasy franchise. He's the Warden of Waters. He's, he's basically, he... He's literally a snake, a water snake. You can kind of see his form right there in that water, in that crystal out there. That kind of looks like its face, actually. We're about to kidnap. Take tank with you. If the surge was an act of rage, one wonders what prompted it. Wow. So Leviathan broke brought that up. Apparently, it's called the surge, and he was very angry when he did that. Okay. This is very pretty. The DLC so far has been fire. Okay, a little bit more battles here. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? I, I need to learn how to play this again. Whatever. I'm trying to find out how to lock on again.
Okay. How do you lock on? Oh, well, that's not it. There we go. Well, I killed them anyways. Yeah, uh, there's- I got a little bit of practicing to do here. We definitely got a little bit of practicing to do here. Um... My kneecap breaking pants. Okay, there's no going there. You guys are hilarious. Wow. It looks real, dude. The music, too. So leviathan -y. Welcome back, moms. The music, too, is so leviathan -y. Here, I can change this now. Let me know if there's a... If you guys hear a little bit of an echo, let me know. ourselves the mountain crossing by landing further north ah. in clear view of the bay Ooh, the village yeah i'm not i'm not going side to side because i don't think there's i mean we do have a split fat path here river's edge all right this is going to be a place we're going to come back to for sure i'm going to go there now just to check it out but I'm pretty sure we're going to come back this way. Uh, I don't know, Mama. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't know. Um, probably until I complete the DLC, most likely. I would say usually DLCs like this are about four hours. It could be three to four hours, depending on like how much I read chat or how much I, I play or if you know, or interact with chat. If I focus on interacting with chat, it might take longer, but... Really depends. Mm -mm, I feel like you should stream until one of us dies. I'll definitely do that. I'm not planning on dying soon, by the way. It could happen, but I'm not planning on it. Okay, so that's what I thought it was. Uh, nothing. That's the place we're going to come back to later. They're going to ask us to bring down that veil for sure. The glamour. I bet you they're going to ask us to bring down the glamour. We're going to have to find all those rocks. How much you want to bet? On evening tides. Does morning's light return? Okay. Open the gates! The tributary is home! Tributary. Carry on my wayward son. This is a great this is a great song. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. I would live here. Outsiders? Well I never look at the size of that dog. Huh. Alright now. Back to your duties. You'll have to forgive my people. The right, Chris? Right? We don't get many visitors. Oh, the Eye of the Tiger. Amazing, too. Then we are honored to be the first. This is quite extraordinary. Like stepping into another world. So do you believe me now? You've made it difficult not to, my lady. But how did your people chance to settle here in the north? Unless I am much mistaken, the moats of water long called the coasts of Southern Ash their home. 
until Drake's horn fell and the blight forced them ever inland where we met our doom along with our uh -huh. dominant that is what we thought see you've read the Gregorian church's account but perhaps you'd like to hear ours oh uh, they lied or they got they got it wrong at least that building over okay. there is the Witten Hall it's where my people gather to discuss matters of import we can speak more inside once the place is ready to receive you okay it shouldn't take long but you're welcome to explore the village while i see to things thank you we'll do just that hey leon give me your top bands artists okay um oof I really like um, a band that's probably one that I have the most respect for and that I've listened to the longest is Led Zeppelin. Personally, I know like for some of you are like, what the heck is a Led Zeppelin? <laughs> Led Zeppelin for sure. Like the stream. Um, another one that I really like, uh, Coldplay and Linkin Park. Some of my top favorite bands. Linkin Park, yeah, absolutely. No disrespect. Uh, Frosty's 32. Three, I'm 33. Never mind. I don't know my own age. 33 already. A block cape. Look, Nan, it's the outsiders. Oh, it's the Final oh, Fantasy shit. theme. No, it's not the Final Fantasy theme. It's it's this game's theme. I think I'm confused now. It's all right. They're the tributary's guests. After what their kind did to us. It's, it's wrong. They're kind. COVID years don't count. You're still 29, Frosty. <laughs> COVID years don't count. If only, dude. Yeah, 33 is my age. We're almost the same age, but your taste in music is giving dad. But it's okay, I love that. No, yeah, I definitely like old... There's some music- there's some more recent music that I enjoy and like, but... Uh, a band more recent, the- I don't know, I like Paramore. Or like, I like Paramore, is that... No, I never, never. You are young, Frosty. I'm young, yeah. Young, young, uh, I don't know where, Crystal. The old soul when it comes to music. Okay, well, when it comes to music. How about May Day Parade? I don't even know who those are. I don't even know who those people are. You're younger than me. I'm younger than you, Crystal. I, I had no clue. Da -da. Sobbing. Duh! I do like Paramore. Yeah, I like Paramore. Uh, I'm trying to think of more bands. The problem is, the thing is, I like certain songs from certain bands, but I don't necessarily like the band, all of the band. For me to like a band, I like, I have to like at least three of their songs. At least three of their songs I need to be a fan of. I guess James Blunt. I'm a, I'm a fan of James Blunt. I'd like a lot of his songs. James Blunt, uh, I guess. I get not I guess, like for sure. How long do you think this bridge has been? Oh, Coldplay is amazing. Oh, at least as long as we have. <laughs> James Blunt for me is uh is a good one. Do you, do you guys know James Blunt? I know uh 
I know Chris knows him. We don't speak about music of being old. Um, I really like old school rock bands. Uh, who, um, you know, uh, Led Zeppelin being one of them, uh, the Scorpions. New kids on the block. Yeah, that's not. Nice. Those are nice. <laughs> Mama, what are you gonna DM Chris? <laughs> She's gonna be like, "You're one of Frosty's mods. Can you please like steer him in the right direction? You guys are doing a lousy job." He's talking about Pink Floyd, man. Survivor, Scorpion's nice, and yeah. I like System of the Down. I'd say I'm a fan of their band. I do like more than one of their songs. More than two. Uh... I like a lot of Japanese... I'm not talking about the, them here, but... I like a lot of Japanese artists. 1OK Rock is a Japanese band that I really like. 1OK Rock, uh, also Kenshi Yunezu. He's, he's a recent... Japanese artist. He has a very interesting music. He actually made the ending music for this game, which I was very shocked by. America? Wait, there's a band called America? I love System of a Down. Do you, Mama Cat? Do you listen to them? I mean, if you like them, I mean. Stephanie and I love 1OK Rock. I love 1OK Rock. Big, I'm a big fan. Uh, there's a few bands I like and Japanese bands that I like. 1OK Rock. Uh, what's the ones that sing Silhouette? Kanaboom. You know Kanaboom? Kanaboom. Mm mm. You love K-pop? I don't. I don't like K-pop. I've never listened to a single K-pop song. No, no, no offense, of course. It's just not. I've never listened to a K-pop song. You know, Smile Empty Soul. Smile Empty Soul. Uh, no. No, I don't. America made the song Horse with no name. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm still not familiar there, Eddie. Wonder Girls. Ooh, Wonder Girls. Okay. Mr. S Sunshine? Have I seen Mr. Sunshine? Let me... Seems this... It rings a bell, but it's not ringing enough bells. No, I don't know this. No, I don't know this. Thought it was ringing a bell, but I'm wrong. Hey, Absent! What the heck? And Storms! Welcome in, Absent and Storms. Good to see you guys. Oh, it's a Korean drama. Oh, yeah, I looked it up and that's what it came up, yeah. Absent, thank you so much for 14 months. Hope life has been well, Frosty. Everything has been okay so far. I, how are you doing? Here, check out a new streamer, but not here for being because I need to sleep. All right, no problem, my man. No problem, Storms. No, I saw it, Storms. I saw it. It took me a little bit, but I saw it. Welcome in, good sir. Well, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy the stream for at least for as long as you're awake for here. I hope you enjoy it here for at least as long as you're awake. 
What about flow? Flow, flow, flow. I was trying to think of flow. I realize the screaming pain. I'm good. I moved halfway across the country, so I'll be around more now. Oh gosh, did you absent? You want to tell? You want to tell us where you just went landed on? <laughs> you don't have to, of course. I'm just curious. That's my jam. Mine too. I love flow. Absolutely, I love flow. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much I can do here. This was done by a cat in 1952, I assume. Uh, Clive is still scared of water in this game. Even though he's about to fight Look. the god of water. Look, Nana, the god of water, tides, and oceans. How long do you think this bridge has been stuck? Okay, this, uh, the town is pretty simple, not much. Suddenly, there were curls everywhere, Chocobos. Did you hear that, girl? The tributary is in the Witten Hall, as you should be. I don't know how you know that, but sure. I don't know how she came all the way over here to tell you that. I don't assume you can go in the houses. I don't suppose you can go inside the houses at all. Hmm. I don't think you can- oh, I can go up there. Okay, let's explore up there a little bit. Christina! Lurking to prevent spoilers, but still here. Sounds good, Christina. Okay, thank you. I'll have to check it out. There you go. Netflix absent is pretty- It is pretty there. What? She told- she told us where she's at. Illinois. Illinois! Ah, but of course. Illinois, the, the... Um, not Oregon pretty? Do they pump your gas there or no? That's my real question. Illinois is the, the, the country of... Of, um... Of, I know this. I, I've been there. I, I've, I've dealt with this. Illinois is the, the... Um, the home of the, um, I'm thinking. The home of wine, isn't it? Wine? Isn't it wine? It's so weird, because I don't know how to pump my own gas. It's pretty easy, yeah. It's, it's, it's not hard, you'll, you'll figure it out pretty soon. It's not hard at all, but if you're used to people doing it for you, yeah, and then... Yo, Greatorp! How you doing? Hey, we're gonna have a little bit of short, uh, story here, which is... These glasses, they're, um... Dirty in there. Not... Oh, wait. So what do you think of our little haven in the woods? It might not have all the comforts of a southern settlement, but at least it's ours. And there's a lot to be said for that. It can't have been easy keeping this place a secret. Not easy, no. Land of Lincoln? We dedicated our lives to maintaining the glamour that conceals us. Us and Walius. This man, Walius, is he Leviathan's dominant? That's right. Okay. Though he's no man, Walius is still a baby. A baby. Forgive me, but you said that the Dominant and his icon were bound inside the Surge almost a century ago. That would surely make him older still. Time froze. If he'd been allowed to age, but the spell robbed the poor bairn of even that. I'm sorry. So he's a baby. Of my great grandfather. Leviathan awoke within him almost immediately, but instead of allowing the lad to live out his life as a valued member of the community, my ancestors sought to put his power to other uses. Sadly for them, the icons sensed their treachery. Ooh. 
and summoned a wave so large it would have swallowed the entire village if my ancestors hadn't stopped him. Then it is not the surge that binds the child, but time itself. Yes. Forgive me. I'm still not sure I understand. I'm not surprised. It isn't the easiest thing to explain. Which is why I, it might I, be better if I took you to see him. Jesus. Show you exactly what he has to endure. That is why we came. Then let us be off. There's a road that leads north from the village. It'll take us right into the surge. Okay. So we're gonna go see... Baby... Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. So he was born with Leviathan in him. We are Delina. Have you spread the word about our guests? I have. Everyone knows to treat them as family. You shouldn't have any trouble now, but just in case, I would have you accept this symbol of our people. The seal, right? Careless Rill. That's very kind. Castless. I look forward. I see to you. To I see you, Stephanie. The feelings mutual. Should the tributary be indisposed, feel free to ask me any questions you might have regarding the village. I see you, Stephanie. How are you? Thank you. We will. Then I bid you good tide. Our storehouse lies across the bridge. If you're short of supplies, you may find what you need there. Though we will have to ask you for recompense, poor as we are. Uh, Sid! Okay. Oh, Sid, aren't you? The man the tributary told us about? My own pumping, uh, but it's usually a dollar less than New York City, so sometimes it's a crossover. Oh, nothing too Wait! My husband, Pavar. Bump your gas in New York City, too? Among, among other things. Anyway, his name day is not far off, and I wanted to make a gift for him. He's a craftsman, you see, and he's been fretting about running low on the flowers he uses for dye making. So I wondered if you might collect some for me and I'm... give them to him. Sure, lady. <laughs> Would this... Perhaps, but I... please, I know it sounds daft, but I... I... All right, we'll do it. The sweet little blue ones that grow around the fount. Elder's blessings, they're called. We use them to dye our fabric so we always feel close to water like they are. Huh. You don't need to go to the trouble of picking them yourself, though. Just speak to the field hands and ask them to share their harvest with you. Two basketfuls should be enough for my husband to be getting on with. Two basketfuls it is. Okay, well, simple enough. Having someone else pump your gas is such a treat. To me, to me it would be if if someone's pumping my gas, I would absolutely love that. I've I've never had that done for me. I still remember the first time I had to go to a gas station by myself when I first started driving. And I had to learn. It was weird. Gas is cheaper in New Jersey. Where the- Oh! Oh, uh, okay. Did you feel the earthquake, Patrick? Someone had to show you how to open the gas cap? <laughs> there was an earthquake in New York, moms. Uh, some days ago. I was embarrassed. I mean... If you didn't know, you didn't know. I mean, it's your first time, right? So... 
no one's you know you're not born knowing you kind of have to learn things I hope this is not where they take bass. Excuse me. I wonder, might you be able to spare a basket of elders' blessings? Pavard's wife tasked me with collecting some for her husband and suggested that I speak to you. Ah. Werder wants you to bless a better half with the fruits of our labor, does she? Yeah. Go on then. Give the old fool something to squirm about. I think this is the first man I've seen. I'm sorry. Hey, Luna! Oh, just a pizza. Just pizza. But if you come bearing gifts, yeah, sometimes when when we're busy, we just make a quick I'm oven right. pizza, and that's it. it. Just, just a frozen pizza. It doesn't happen a lot, but you've seen me eat pizza like that a few times here, but if it's like, you know... If we don't have that much time, we'll just do it. Elios? Don't think I've tried it. I think this, I think this is DiGiorno. Pretty sure it's DiGiorno. How you doing, moms? I mean, uh, Luna? How you doing, Luna? He didn't make you feel weird? Yeah, because he knew, he understands, like, you know, you didn't know. And people usually, more often than not, Mama Cat, people would be glad to help you. Even if it's an introvert, people are usually, they like being needed. It makes them feel accomplished. And if they know the answer, they, they definitely will help you more than likely. People like helping others. Uh, they just don't get many opportunities, and they just don't get the right... Sometimes it's more like circumstance rather than, you know, a, a desire to. Uh, but usually people do have a big desire to help others. Um, those square pizza and also a couple of noodles. Hmm. Okay. Remind me of my childhood. Mine too. A little bit. A little bit. I had a lot of Nesquik. We used to drink Nesquik a lot when I was growing up. I remember that. That br that reminds me of my childhood. My day was quiet and otherwise working from bed as my hips were hurting. Oh no, your hips? Yeah, you had meant. I think you had mentioned your hips before here, uh, Luna. How's that going? Just just pain, right? Does it feel better when you lay down, perhaps? Another basket here, let's go. Ah, welcome to Haven, friend. This town is like 80% ladies. Forgive my presumptuousness, but the smith's wife has asked me to make her husband a present of some elder's blessings. Two basketfuls, to be precise. Wow. I have one, if that's any help. It is. I'm much obliged. They really are beautiful. Yeah. Aren't they just? Though that's not the only reason they have a special place in our hearts. Okay. Legend has it that when our people fled from Ash, the tributary of the time took some seeds with them. And as they wandered high and low across the twins, he'd plant them wherever they stopped for water. Every elder since has done the same. Wow. So when we finally put down roots here in Mesidia, the flowers did too. Wow, that's kind of awkward. Like, she said that turned around and he turned around, but that's kind of awkward. That, that didn't feel very natural, but it's okay. Quick complete, uh, after completing a main objective of some quest, uh, you may, excuse me, you may be given the option to quick travel to Chris's final destination, right? Time to visit Pavard. Yeah, that's, that's the way it should go. If this was in the first game, if, in the first game, in the first, if this was in the original game, we would have done the game way faster. We had to run back a lot. What do you want? 
Uh, I feel like it tastes different now, though. Maybe that's just me. Wait, wait, what? what is? What is? Rusty, did you ever have Tang? Yeah, I had Tang. Not much, but I drank Tang. Nesquik is so nostalgic for you too, Stephanie. Yeah. I don't know anything. Please help. What, what do you need help with? My hips are aggravated from time to time and certain positions I am make me pain easier to bear. Laying in bed is comforting to me. Oh, I, I understand. I understand that for sure. Hip pain. Is it like... When you say hip pain, is that like on, on your side? Like right on the side of your leg? Not like leg leg, but like the upper hip, right? It tastes different, I think it does. Strawberry Nesquik forever. I don't know which one I like best. Honestly. And like, milk has been, uh, I think... I don't know. I feel like milk has been affecting me in a wrong way. I don't know. I don't even drink coffee. Good one, Travis. He likes coffee ice cream. I haven't actually tried it. I don't think if Mama... Mama, do you drink coffee? You know you drink alcohol, but do you drink coffee? You love coffee? Okay. That's nice. You don't drink coffee either, Chris? So we got some smart, some smart decisions here in the chat. Some good decisions out here. I can't stand- I had a cookie the other day. We had a bunch of, like... A bunch of cookies. And those cookies, they- They're like, like, hotel cookies. They came in, like, wrappers. And- And it says, like, what flavor it has on the- on the outside. Like, what kind of cookie it is. And one of them was a blue thing, and I opened it, and I took a bite, and it was literally coffee, and I looked at the label, it was like... Coffee grain cookie or whatever. I was like, I spit it all out. I spit it all out. I said, nah, nah. Nah, I spit, I spit that crap out. Ah, oh, mama, what the? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that dono made me allergic to something. <laughs> thank you so much, Mama. Mama, thank you so much for that. Oh my gosh. And Stephanie was gifted. Oh wow. Sparshall, uh, there's uh, socket damage. It's pressuring both sides at the pelvic area. Ooh, socket damage, huh? Okay. Thank you, Mama. Let's get all the hype for Mama Cat. Amazing. Amazing Mama Cat. Thank you, friend, for the gifty. Becoming a lemon drop and then dropping a gifty. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. The support's been incredible tonight. I, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. A woman. It's for you, man. I know you're there. Just take it, man. Just take it. No. Why did you give the man flowers, dude? Would either of you care to explain what's going on? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to deceive you. It's just my husband can be a bit standoffish at times, and I thought this might be a good way for the two of you to get acquainted. What with you being a swordsman like and him being the only smith in the village? It'd be a shame if you couldn't turn to him for help. The only reason he couldn't turn to me for help is because I had my hands full with all the orders you lot dumped on me. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with Thank that. Thank you, now. Mama. But for the record, the tributary said that we were to lend you outsiders our aid, and that's exactly what I was planning to do. With or without my darling wife's meddling. Still, here we are. They sound like a married couple. So if they really do. They sound like a married couple already. Right. Bring him right, the then. materials. And tar for the flowers. I was running low. 
You use them for dyeing, I hear. Aye. Crush the petals and it makes a fine and lasting blue. Hmm. We use it to stain the cloth for our tunics and pennons. To remind us where we come from, like. Yeah. As motes of water. Children of the sea. Wow, I love it. That's right. The pattern too was left by our ancestors. Huh. The ceaseless rill, it's called. It symbolizes the river of our tribe. With the strength of Leviathan running through it. And no matter how that river has ebbed and flawed, changed its course, the flowers have always been with us. Mm hmm. Growing on our banks. Mm hmm. That's beautiful. So beautiful. I love it. I should get back to work. If you need something crafty, let me know. I will. I will. Oh? Is that their symbol? Oh, did I just level up? Are you crazy? I did just level up. That's crazy. Level a hundred. Booyah. Ooh, what is this? Retaliation Titanic block. Enhances the Titanic iconic feat. Titanic block, making it capable to block attacks from behind while restoring a small amount of the HP regain God gauge. Wow. Okay, that is actually pretty good. So it's going to make our icons things stronger. Apparently, we got Titan first, which it's given us reasons to use like the iconic abilities uh, anew, right? Since there's not much reason to use them because you've seen them all, right? <laughs> um, healing pad is my savior tonight. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're finding relief, Luna there. Holy crap. Reminds you of Skyrim? It looks a little bit like Skyrim. A little bit. Yeah, I hope it goes away, Luna. I hope you feel much better. It will pass, of course. Level 100! It looks like a good game to play. It is. It never occurred to me that Skyrim had a... a it does... I don't know. I've never played Skyrim. I've seen it played. I personally have never played Skyrim. Okay, so this guy is giving me Jack Nothing Nicholson. Reinforce, maybe? No? Till next time, then. So he's just the same as. He's the same as the, the Smith that we have at. Back at the hideout. I'll have her hide when she gets back. What? What does she do? Oh, sorry. I was leagues away. How can I help? If you're after something from the storehouse, it's actually my oh, wife you'll want to talk to. Okay. She will have to charge you for the goods, though. That's okay. I would fleece you or anything. It's <laughs> just, you know. Needs what us. project, moms? I understand. Seeing that. She might not be able to get anything down for you for a bit. Hmm. Ah, right. She's got her hands full with the inventory, you see. Inventory. She did job really, but the willful little rills decided to make herself scarce. These guys look like twins, all of them. Girls got to. If you'd like me to keep an eye out for her. No, no. I couldn't ask that of an outsider. Could I? Why not? You wouldn't mind. Sounds good, moms. I'll do it. Pursuit of knowledge. Oh, there you go. But I've scoured the entire village for her and come up empty-handed. Can't help thinking she might have gone on another one of her little adventures. Ah, oh, a free spirit is she. Haha. <laughs> that, that she is. Can't get her sit still, especially once you heard you lot were on your way. Outsiders. You should have said a little lies like that. But if she wanted to watch you arrive, should have made for the low gate where you first came in. The guard there might have spotted her. All right. All right, let's find this lady. This will open up like the... I mean, I'm doing this just because, but... This will probably open up... Uh, am I going this way? Yes. It'll open up like a, the the item shop, right? We can buy some potions and stuff. Not that I care too much about it, but... Sure, we'll do it. We have to do it anyways. You haven't seen the storekeeper's daughter, have you? Little Ruka. I have, as it happens. 
She went out through the gate not long ago. Out of the village? Aye. She does it all the time. There's a path off to the left which leads down to the past. No okay. I was about to say, I bet you she's on that path. And I didn't say it, but I was thinking it, so... This must be the path. There she is, Ruka. They're not here either. Here I am. He's looking for us. It's you. I've been looking everywhere. What? That's you. the guy's wife. You must be Ruka. You know my name. What the? Can you not read minds? She's like twelve. Your father asked me to keep an eye out for you. Oh, father. Okay. You left without telling him. Oh my gosh! I thought it was wife. He was worried. But I went to look for you. Freak me out for a second. Well, now you found me. What do you say we head back to the village and let your father know you're safe? All right. And on the way home, you can tell me all about the world beyond the wall. I want to know everything. <laughs> everything might be a stretch. <laughs> everything might be a stretch, he says. You should read Joshua's book. Uh, it's called Final Fantasy. For those of you who played the game or not, and never mind. Thank oh, no. you for bringing her home, and I'm sorry for the trouble. Okay, he's gonna do the oh, finger no. thing. It was a pleasure. What's he trying to do? It's like he's trying to block Did a knee or something. Is ten times as big as Haven in the outside world. Ten times. <laughs> Probably more than ten times. And in these cities, they have great big walls and towers and castles. Oh, <laughs> to think I was worried. You can tell me all about the outside world later, sweet. What do you mean, Travis? You don't play these types of games. All right. What do you mean you don't play these types of games? What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean, these types of games? What kind of attitude is this? What do, what do you mean? Thanks for putting up with her questions. She, uh, has a lot of them. Yeah, oh, I can see that. ones being, what are the people beyond the wall like? Reckon you've made a good first impression. Are we the only ones she's ever met? That you are. The rest of the world can't know we're here. So we'll have to be very careful who we're letting. Not your cup of tea? Well then drink Coke. A few of us might make the occasional trip to shore for supplies, but for the most part, we'll make do with what we've got. Including what the old northern has left us. Yes. He built on top oh, of Oh Mama Cat. Thing. That's probably like one of the sweetest uh, comments I've ever heard. Is this the series with Cloud? It is the series with Cloud, but it's not not this specific one, moms. Mama. I want a cup of tea. I would go for a I would go for a cup of tea. That that question is so sweet. I love Cloud. Oof. Have you met Zach? As traveling merchants and make a trip to the outside and pray to every cloud in the heavens that nobody sees through us. Which explains why you need Gil. Uh I see what's going on here. And now Rook is back. My wife should be free to assist you with any potential purchases. So please, do make good use of our stores. Because we fully intend to make good use of your coin. Guy named Zack broke my heart. Not Zack with, with an H, not a K. This Zack has a K. Z-A-C-K. It's different. It's different. I don't care what you say, it's different. Ain't no Zack with a, with a H. Zack, you mean better cloud? I prefer Zack to cloud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I prefer Zach to Cloud, personally. Used in crafting and a bloody high and used in crafting. Okay, I don't know. Literally, Zach came in and Zed is here. <laughs> Zach actually walked in. Zed, are you ready for tomorrow or? Can we punt Zed? Okay, Mama Cat, just say answer a little bit of your question. I know you're probably picking up hats. You don't know what the heck is going on. You're like over here just like, ah, I wish I knew what was going on. He's talking about these guys, but I'm not sure. So basically, this is a game called Final Fantasy 16. Final Fantasy is an ongoing series that started in 1990 or whatever. Very, way, way back when, right? Back in the times of Super Mario's, the first Super Mario's and stuff. 
And it's been going on since uh, with Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're all standalone stories, right? So what this means is Final Fantasy 1 is not related to Final Fantasy 2. Final Fantasy 2 is not related to Final Fantasy 3. They're different characters, different stories. They're a collection of books, but just by the same author with the same title. So they have the same title, same author, but it's different stories. Different characters, there's no connection between them. I learned that in college, I'm sure you did. So... Oh yeah, me too, Fola. Me too. You're already loose to- <laughs> that's it. So basically what's happening here, this is a game called Final Fantasy 16. And this game is the most recent one, it came out in early, early 2023. We played through it here on this channel, and this is the DLC for it. So basically, to explain the whole story of this game would be crazy, uh, right? Right now, but basically, just to give you a, a quick story. This guy here, his name is Clive. Are you listening, Mama? Are you li Are you listening, Mama? Or, or do you want me to shut up? Because I'm gonna give you about a minute and a half of, of lore, if you're ready. I can definitely see why Zack is preferred. Oh, he's sexy hunk. Fair enough, little sister. Okay. But Clive, like... Man, Clive is a hunk. Oh, uh, okay, mama. I see, I see. Clive is a hunk. Anyways, so this guy here is named Clive, and this here is his friend Jill, which they are in love with each other. This is gonna be spoilers for those of you who are lurking don't know the story. And this here is his brother Joshua. So when Clive was 15, his country was betrayed and his dad was killed and his brother was also... His brother is... So to explain how this world works... They turn into big monsters, like some Final Fantasy summons. So Clive is Ifrit, Joshua is the Phoenix, and Jill here is Shiva. Clive, Clive. I might have said Cloud, I meant Clive. So Joshua knew when he was a kid, very young, they're brothers, right? He won his blonde because the mom was blonde and the dad had black hair, so. But they're real brothers from the same parents. Like, full, full-blooded brothers. So when they were young, at the beginning of the game, Joshua, his dad is killed in front of him because one country betrayed us, and they killed his brother to kidnap Joshua and kill Joshua because he's a phoenix, so he's super powerful. So they tried to assassinate him. What happens is Joshua awakens as the phoenix and turns into the phoenix. And then Clive, there's only one icon of fire, so Clive, nobody knows that Ifrit exists. But Clive is actually Ifrit, and he turns into Ifrit and fights his brother and kills his own brother. Him. Yeah. This guy with the black hair kills his own brother. And then you're like, but how is he alive? Well, he's the phoenix, so he resurrects. So he kind of survived, but no one knew. So Clive lost his mind when he transformed. He couldn't control it because of all the rage and stuff. So he didn't know what he was doing, but he ended up killing his own brother. So he thought that someone else did it. He thought that the Icon of Fire, the Ifrit, was someone else. Because he was seeing visions of this guy cloaked in flames and whatnot. But it was him all along, and like, in the middle of the game, you get this revelation that he is the one that actually killed his own brother. And then he goes through this, like, crazy thing, and... And then Jill was supposedly dead, and then she was... And then we find her, and we tried to kill her, but she survived when we realized who she was. So she joined our party, and then we fell in love and made love naked on the beach, actually. But we don't talk about that. That's in the game, too, but we don't we don't talk about that. Anyways, then we find out Joshua is alive. And uh, he's been in the... that's why he went by the name Mark Grace. We find out that Joshua is alive later on, he reveals himself. And uh, he's been in the shadows, like, trying to kill this god that is trying to kill us all, which is called Ultima. 
and and Ultima is basically the god of all gods that is trying to kill his own creations, which is us, the humans. So he created us, but then we turned against him. He created us because he wanted slaves, but then humans, like, start to develop a mind of their own and to be self-sufficient. And God didn't like that. And then Clive is the chosen one because he's he's Mythos, which means he can absorb the abilities of other beasts, icons. So he's he's like he's like super powerful. And he's the only one who can kill God. So the end of the game is we go and kill God. But this is before that. This is right before we fight God. So they put the DLC in between the final fight and, and the end of the game. So you're you still haven't done that, but... So Leviathan is the icon of water, which means... He... So there's there's fire, water, electricity, right? They're all... They're all gods and stuff. Yes, this is my favorite game. <laughs> Not the god of our world, the god of their world, Ultima. Um... But yeah, it's very, very interesting. I love it so much. Uh, back to the origin, yeah. So this dog... ...is our little pup, and we find out that he's a... We, we knew him when we were kids, but then he disappeared with, with Jill. And then we find him with Sid. It, it gets complicated. That, that, that was the gist of it, Mama Cat. So the dog came from these lands where we're at, which is the northern lands, right? Let me show you. I'm very passionate about this, so I'll be talking for hours if if you really if you really egg me on, I'll talk for hours. Like So we were born here in Rosaria. This here is Rosaria where we were born. And you see how this is all dark here? You see how this is all dark here? These are the dead lands. Which means that this is the north. And the north, like, people escape the north to come down to ash. Well, the north is also ash. This, all of this is ash, which is the continent. And this here is, uh, the different con uh, continent, which I forget the name, but... Yeah. Anyways. We thought all of this was blackened out and dying, because the planet is dying because... God is siphoning the energy out of the planet, and it's, the planet is gonna die. So that's why God was starting to come out to like kill us all to get enough energy to create a new world. It's, it's crazy, I know. It's, it's a crazy story. And... And we found out now the dog came from these lands when the land started darkening and dying. People fled down and the dog was actually found by our father in the expedition he did up here. And he brought the dog to us. And it turns out that the dog is actually an icon as well. Which is icon called Fenrir, which is the god, the dog god of ice. We didn't know that until he transformed in front of us one day and we were like, what the heck? So the dog has a history too, so it's crazy. The dog god of ice, yes. The iconic dog, that's crazy. Am I hallucinating? No, you're listening to this right. This is Final Fantasy right here. So in the in the mythology, this is what this is why the story is so beautiful. We never knew why Jill Jill, this girl here, she's Shiva, the Queen of Ice, right? So she was always very close to Torgal. We never quite understood why, but it is explained now that it's kind of like it's destiny. Because Fenrir always accompanies Shiva, because Fenrir, the dog of ice, and the queen of ice, you know? So, that's kind of like destiny brought them together. So now, there was one icon that was missing, which was the one of water, which is the sea serpent. And nobody knew where it was, so the DLC... This DLC that we're playing now is explaining what happened to him, and apparently he's a baby. He's a ba he's inside the body of a baby and the baby is being inside in that is inside that crater that's connected to that huge light and that baby was trapped in time like like Aang 
when he was, you know, with the when he was trapped in the in the iceberg. So he hasn't aged in a hundred years. So he's still a baby. So now we gotta go find that baby and find the because he is the incarnation of the god of water, much like I am the incarnation of the god of fire. My brother is also the god of fire, which is weird because there's supposed to be only one god of fire. But then we understand that we are not the god of fire, we are Mythos, which means we are kind of like the Messiah. So we're, we're, we're the flames of destruction and our brother is the flames of healing. It's, it's complicated, but it makes sense. Yes, an immortal... Exactly, exactly. An immortal avatar sea serpent, baby. Yes. That's exactly what he is. Yes. I don't know what he looks like. I just got here, so... Oh, you do, Junkie? Let's go. If you miss the old turn uh, turn base, I, I would go with more classical Final Fantasies in that kit. In that, uh, starting with Final Fantasy 13, 12, 12 and thirteen, yeah, from twelve. Starting from Final Fantasy twelve, anything for after that kind of does away with the uh, turn base mechanics, right? Sorry, I got distracted. That's okay, friend. Love you, Zed. Exit. Naturally, did that help? Does that, does that, is that like a trip? Is that a story trippy enough for you, uh, Mama Cat? Was that, was that trippy enough for you? <laughs> I am Zed. I love you too. I'm Zed now. Well, you'd, you'd be, I mean, you're a sexy beast, but Zed, Zed is a sexy beast as well. Zed is hot. He's hot. You ever seen a Zed stream? He's hot. You should fight to the death, yes, but slap him with a glove first. Make it official. Hey, yo. You love to watch him? <laughs> oh, Zed is hot. He's... Zed is like a firecracker. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm getting I'm getting gayer by the minute. Alright. Alright, what do you have? Um I don't I don't know that I have this. No, I died too. I don't I want one small one. I could buy another one of these because I only have one. I only have one of these. She has a Genji look glove? You mother fluffing turncoat mother two bald little creep. You have a Genji glove? Is this thing are you for real? This thing has a Genji glove. Oh what in the world? She has everything. When you've decided what you want, just let me know. <laughs> Here you are. Okay, well that's shocking. Uh, if you're sure you need it. If you don't know what that means, it's oh, we got an arm, a new arm ring. Oh my gosh, plus three. Yes, yes, this gives me water defense. I'm gonna be fighting the god of water, so I, I definitely water defense sounds like some I might want to have. You know? I'm clipping this. You say everyone is hot. It's not my fault that you guys are stupid gorgeous. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? There's an old Portuguese saying, Mama Cat, that goes. The old saying that goes. What's pretty is meant to be seen. I don't know if there's any Portuguese speakers in here, but you know what I mean. It basically says, that which is pretty is meant to be seen. And looked at right yeah when when's the last time you went out to a like uh just a beautiful ravine like we just saw like going down the mountain there look at this look at this you look at this and you're like it's beautiful right when when was the last time you looked at something like this beautiful and you're like oh yuck you know like you're some kind of space goat or something no no you go it's beautiful i want to look at it 
Where's my campfire soda and stool? Please, sir, I want to sit down and admire this beautiful view. That which is beautiful is meant to be seen. So is Zed. That's why we put a camera on his face, because we like our eyes to be satisfied a little by the, the wonderfulness that is Zed's eyes, hair, and mouth, and chin, and that beard that he doesn't have, but would have if he could. Ah, oh, Zed. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, I'm just joking. I'm obviously more hot than Zed. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Hey, thank you so much, Junkie. I spanked something? I did. I, you spanked something? What the heck? Junkie, thank you so much for the dude. Thank you so much, Junkie. I appreciate you a lot, man. Hey, I appreciate you becoming a lemon drop. That's amazing, bro. You just made my night right there. Thank you so much. All the hype for this, man. Let's go. Men or woman, I'm sorry if I assume I didn't mean to. <laughs> Frosty and Zed fanfic is already cooking up in my head. Go for it. Do it. <laughs> Oh, Zed is here. That's not awkward. Frosty, does Zed make you melt? Never. Never. If I'm... The way it works is if, if, I'm, if I'm an ice cube, Zed is the freezer. That's how it works. He keeps me in his heart. <laughs> Big sister, should I be concerned? Nah, it's all- it's all brotherly love. It's all brotherly love. It's all brotherly love. But don't let me- don't get me started on- on Exit. Don't get me started on Exit. Have you seen the Exit's eyes? Boy oh boy oh boy oh boy. Have you seen Exit's eyes? You never seen Exit's eyes? Hmm. <laughs> You're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. He's a he's a handsome man. Zed 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 and and, and exit both very handsome man. Uh, find someone who loves you like that, <laughs> Lastly, right? Da da. Dead. Just like a three-way. Oh boy, <laughs> Luna. Luna. Luna is like, just give me more characters. Just give me more characters. <laughs> put, put Chev in there too. <laughs> put, put Nick in. Gosh dang. I feel. I feel like if I try, Nick is a big guy. I feel like if I try to hug Nick ever, he's gonna break all my bones. I'm leaving, I'm never coming back. Yeah, Travis is pretending. Travis is pretending like he's not loving this. He's sitting there pretending, he's sitting there pretending that he doesn't like it. Just come out of the closet already, Travis. It's okay. We all know you're the you're Princess Travis. It's okay, man. Everybody, a lot of people have done it. You're safe. This is a safe place. You can come out. You can come out, bro. It's all good. No one's gonna judge you, man. We we just want you to live your 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 life, man. You're not allowed to call me that. What do you mean I'm not allowed to call you that? You call me schmuck every day. The heck? That Nick Frosty hug one day. I I wish. Like in all serious, like like jokes aside, I, I wish I would meet Nick. He was pretty close. He was I wouldn't say pretty close. He was he was, he was about seven, eight hours away from me at some point, so. Um but he didn't have much time and I didn't have much time, so it didn't work out. But I, I'd love to meet him one day. Absolutely be amazing. Big sister can call you know Abigail. I don't know if she's here. She gave me permission to call you Queen Schmuck. 
She gave me permission to call you... She gave me permission to call you Queen Schmuck, so... Schmucka. Queen Schmucka. Schmuckar. But Jill is my true love. As much as I love Exit, and as much as I love Zed, Jill is the one I'll marry. I mean... Hubba hubba mother fluffa. I would- you can- oh my gosh. I'll- I'll- uh, oh boy. I'm not- I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up? I'm just gonna shut up? <laughs> Thank you so much, Junkie, my friend. Dang, Junkie, really? Wow. Is that his exit? Because we've never seen him in the same room. Fair point. Fair point. I, I've never seen him in the same room. Does that mean I can have Elizabeth Olsen? You're making this hard on me, Savage. You're making you're making this hard on me, Savage. I don't know. I don't know. You're complicating things here, brother. I don't know. I don't know. You put me in the spot there. Whatever. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Jill or Jill. Jill is the... The only thing that's gonna make me lean towards Elizabeth Olsen is because she's real. That's it. That's the only reason. If 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 Jill was a real human being... I, I would... Dang. I would shoot my shot for sure. I'd miss, but I'd be a happy man, at least. I can't compare it to Exit. Aw, oh, Zed. Did you guys know that Zed and Exit are two streamers? Did you guys know that? Did you know that they're fantastic people? I hang out in their streams all the time. No, this is they're they're faking it. It's not it's 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 fake, it's fake. It's the same account. It's the same account. They're pretending to be different people. I may now be traumatized. You'll never be traumatized. Not with the things you've seen, buddy. But are we not still leaks from the shore? A cool group of streamers here. Oh, and moms as well. And moms as well. Ah, uh, Patrick, you still here, buddy? Dude, thank you, man. Patrick is a good friend. He's supported the channel so much, man. Get some hype for this, man. Dude, we got... We got branchable paths. Do we have branching paths? Are you kidding me? Oh, my... Oh, wow. The Dark Gate... Oh wow, this- we're not gonna finish this tonight. We're probably not gonna finish this tonight. We got branching paths. Well, so... I mean... We probably will, actually. Let's go this way, first of all. Holy crap. Yo, Exit, I have a question for you. But you can't take it personally. It's not personal. It's not- it's not me judging or anything. Do you ever consider making your, your username shorter at all? Because there's been times, Exit, there's been times where I was like, I know you're live, and then like, I, I close my phone. I close my phone, I, well, I lock my phone, and then I exit out of YouTube by accident or whatever, and then I try to find you again, so I go on YouTube and I type, Exit. And I was like, but what's the rest of- how's the rest of it go? And then I'm like, what's the rest of it? And then I'm just like, I can never find you. I have to scroll on my little thingies on the top, and then until I find you. Because usually I just go like, if I want to watch Nick, I just go Beacon of Nick, and immediately Nick comes up. You know, if I want to watch Zed, I just go Zed Games, boom. But if I want to watch Exit, I have to like- I have to like, write half of- half of the dictionary. And I'm like, I don't- how do you- you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like <laughs> You love that name? I don't blame you. I don't I don't blame you if you want to change it. I'm just saying have you I'm just asking have you ever considered it? 
So if you type... I can't find him. I, I never can find him. I have to go through the thing and and find his channel and then from his channel click his video and that's how I do it. I tried to do this last night too. Exit with haha -ha is a cool username. No judgment. No, no judgment. I definitely consider I I'm just curious if you've ever thought about it. Blame us all, Travis. Blame us all for your problems. Oh my gosh. So the Incas were here. And that's about all we know. That's all she wrote. Okay, dead end. Right? We know what that is. The Grove Altar. The Great, Great Altar. Is it great or... Well, maybe if I moved out of the way. The Green. Well, could have been great. No, I know you didn't stream last night, but I, I looked- I, I went there looking for you to see if you were streaming. Frosty is responsible for World War Three, calling it now. <laughs> ah, man. The only reason I've ever done anything silly or stupid that I shouldn't have done was always for love or money. There's the only two reasons I've ever done anything that I shouldn't have done. Or that I regret- not that I shouldn't have done, but I, I regret doing. Is always for love, is always for a woman, or in this case love, right? Or, or for money. Past the second galley. Shula, how did these ships come to be here? Nice, Luna. When an icon of water get it go, get it going. I want to read it. Really, brother, did you have to ask? We're gonna. I want to read all about it. Read all about it. I'm gonna cringe. I'm gonna cringe my face off, but that's okay. Have a great night. Have a great night, Luna. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm supposed... Oh, Tailwind Bay. It's that way. Alright, I'll leave exploration for later. We're just gonna go and... Just gonna go and, uh... Just gonna go and go, you know? Just gonna go and go. I'm attuned to Shiva. Nice. Ooh, more bandits. Okay. Let's go with Chivo here. Tomberries. Tomberries. Creatures consumed by their hatred for everyone and everything. Everything save the sharp knives, it seems. Dude, look at the Tomberries. Bro, look at the Tomberries. Zed is going to give me so much grief. Oh, he knows it's all in good fun. Well, he might not like it. I, I I respect that if he doesn't, but I think he knows it's all in good fun. Tomberry creepers. Look at this, Christine. It's a Tomberry. Look at it. Holy crap, it's like a lizard. Well, to be fair, they always were like that. What the heck? Kill these things with fire, dude. Ew. I like this girl. She's good. I like Shuma. Shula? Shula? Chuka? Chuka Shula? No, they're not men in masks. They're 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 reptilian. No, 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 no. They're actually Tomberries. I just a realistic Tomberry, you know, is weird to me. It's all. Good thing I'm level 100, right? Level cap is level 110, so I'm 10 levels away. It's kind of hard to get levels in this game. Uh, not if you're doing the DLC. I guess the DLC really does boost your XP count, but... 
I'm not gonna end this game at 100 level 10. At 110 level. No, at level 110. Use words, Frosty, please. Nah, I'm not gonna... For sure not. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna end the DLC at about level 104. I'd say at 104 is my guess. I gotta finish this game, it looks so fun. I, can smell the sea. I, I wish you would. Do you own it? You own it, right, Christina? Do you have a um do you have a PS5 and all that? I'm back, but I'll need to finalize the surprise in 40 minutes. I, I have no idea what surprise you're talking about, Moms. You've been cryptic about it since you've gotten here. I guess I I, I can grunt, but I can't climb. Ooh, look how beautiful that is. Dude, this reminds me of 13. Anyone that's played Final Fantasy 13, you'll know why this reminds me of 13. Who 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 sees this and sees Final Fantasy 13 here? Anyone that has played the games, of course. I know not all of you have played it. Reminds you of the ending? Mm-hmm. It reminds me of the beginning when they freeze the lake. When they crystallize the lake. You remember that, Christina? Travis is going to bed. All right, let's see. How will we reach the surge? We'll follow the coastline north. There's a bridge that'll take us across to the Cape. Oh, uh, wow. Wow, guys. Wow. Whoa. Oh, a new enemy, level 100. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Ali Bean, hello. All right, let's sacker this guy. Okay. Here we go. Shiva! <laughs> nice damage. Mega Flare. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see that. Bad missed. Ouch. Ouch. There it is. Rest in peace, Splinter. I mean, Donatello. My gosh, he's got, like, he's got roots in his belly. Ew. Like some weird tapeworm. Um. I've scrolled and not. What? 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 I missed something. Yeah, I'm not seeing Travis. Someone might have. He might have been, um, hidden. Not hidden, but, like, removed. Like, timed out. Hmm. 
No clue if you guys are joking, but Travis goes to bed by getting timed out. Oh yeah, it's right. That's right, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, he does get, uh... You killed Torterra. <laughs> Stephanie. Travis is ridiculous for one of the time. Okay, man. He's a lemon drop icon. He is, he is. Guys, look at this. Look, there's a palm tree, which means we're getting close to the... Look at those... Look at those chicken legs up there. Might wow. I inquire about the ray of light? It's what prevents the surge from being reclaimed by the sea. And Walius by his people. Okay, so that beam of light keeps this thing solid. Interesting. But it's coming from... Did Leviathan do this? Did Ultima do this? You know, if I look at it, it looks like Leviathan magic rather than Ultima. I don't see, like, the Ultima gleam thing, like, going. Dude, are we actually gonna land on that thing? Are we actually gonna land on that thing? That would be crazy. Strong move. Oh, I fell. Wait a minute, I gotta get back. Where's the enemy? Where? Let me at him. Oh, I wasted my limit for nothing. Another Torterra. I'll leave him be for now. This is so gorgeous, dude. Do you guys see how beautiful this is? I don't know. I don't know if you guys see it how I see it. It just looks gorgeous to me. I'm very strong, so... Okay, so if I go up there... Okay. I need to go is that way. But what's up here? Okay, uh, hidden path there. We'll check it out, just real quick. I, I This looks so beautiful to me. Yeah. Didn't mean to do that. Path out this way. Oh, got some treasure. Okay. What do we get here? Potion, chunks, sharp fangs, pinches. Okay, I'm I'm like almost maxed out on all this crap, so that was that was pretty much nothing. That was that was a nothing burger for me. Nothing burger. I don't think there's anything there. Quest destination nearby. All right. Well, I'm I'm excited to see what the heck's gonna uh, gonna go down here. What the heck is going to go down? That the child is bound within the surge. Yes, he's in there. To tell us how we're meant to reach him by going into the surge. I trust we won't have to hold our breath. Huh. No. The surge wraps around the cape without engulfing it. If we continue to its tip. There is a path down to the seabed. And the wave's origin. Oh, shoot. Right. It won't be the first domino really? at the bottom of the ocean. Kind of kind of like this, uh, kind of like this here, Stephanie, or not really? Is it kind of like this here or no? Uh, hopefully. I think this is just beautiful. Ooh. So they don't let okay. All right. Well, well, uh, well, okay, well, in that case. Oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna make some... Uh, excuse me so much. I so apologize, truly, uh, dearly for that. We're gonna make some upgrades, okay. Uh, because I found a third Genji glove, and... My jaw kind of dropped with that one, so we're gonna, we're gonna go and... We're gonna- what are you laughing about, Christina? We're gonna go and kind of look at this and see... What in the fluffy McWuffy are we looking at here? Wait, where'd it go? Wait a minute.
No way. I... No way. No way I did that. Please. No way I did that. No way. I was undersell. I didn't sell it because see, like it takes time to sell, right? You see there? See how it's going to do the thing? See that? So it doesn't sell. So I actually did not sell it, but... Oh, thank goodness. Oh my god. I thought it was strange that she had all those items. I was like, how is she selling a Genji glove? Like, that's so uncommon. May it serve you well. What do you think the tributary sees in Norzo? Okay, well, well, thank the gods. I mean, it's a little bit of a disappointing thing, but at least I didn't sell anything. Still scary. Dude, I'm sweating bullets. Yeah, I could have. I could have, Patrick, but I didn't get to sell it. I thought I did, but it didn't let me. Because it has a protective... You need to hold the button for like three seconds for it to sell. And I just tapped it. And plus, I have my Genji glove there too, so... Nothing happened. I was like, okay. I didn't even realize. Because I was like paying attention to chat and playing at the same time. I just didn't realize. It's not much further now. Scary, very scary. Oh, well kept. Do you and the villagers often come this way? Oh man, right, Patrick? <laughs> right, Melissa? It is my duty both as village elder and Walius's descendant. But surely no one blames you for what happened. Why should you bear the responsibility? Yeah, why? Why are you? You misunderstand. I do it because I want to. Oh. To show him that he isn't alone, and that there are still some of us who would see an end to his suffering. Is he suffering though? Suffering you will soon witness with your own eyes. Oh no. Don't show me a kid suffering. I don't want to see that. I'm not happy about seeing that. Live with these clothes, he looks a little awkward, to be honest. The path would be reclaimed in a matter of oh, thank you, Dizer. Love you. Take care. Sleep well. Drop a like if you if you feel so inclined on the way out. That would help the the algorithm. Let me sit properly in this chair. I've been oh boy. Here we go. Sleep well, Dizer. Love you, friend. And I hope you are having a fantastic night. Bum, bum. What happened, JJ? Life. What happened, JJ? Tell us about it. Who did you wrong, buddy? Whoa! Does the light point the way to the child? Probably. It does indeed. One could assume that. Jeez, look at this guy. Look at the particles of water here. Wow. Look at the particles of water. Like just a... That is so realistic. It would do that. Look at what Leviathan did, bro. Dude, look at what Leviathan did. That's like three kilotons of freaking water. That's like, that's at least, that's at least five tons of water right there. Probably more than that. Where they have remained untouched by time for 80 summers. It's... It's not right. I wonder if you could climb them. It's like if I, if I were to like grab them and could I like climb or... You know, that'd be cool. I wonder if I slip on one and hit my head on one, does it... Does it like... Is it, is it like hard or is it... Is it 
Dude, look at the vegetation. This is real vegetation right here. This is real world vegetation right here. Because you see, you see, I've seen, I've been to forests and places of the such, and I've seen like, I've seen vegetation exactly like this. This is realistic. Something wrong, Clive. No, I'm just uh, admiring the flora is all. No, this definitely, this definitely realistic as fluff, man. I don't know if you guys see it the way I see it. But this, this, this looks very realistic. Right? It's not just the same set of flora that they put all over the same place. Like, you're getting closer to the water. Like, the vegetation is a little weirder. Which is... Look at how the water froze in time right there. You can see where the splashing on the side there. Look at, look at the production value of this. Granted, that kind of looks like ice there. And there is a little bit of, you know, there's there's a little bit of smudging there in terms of graphics, but still. Look at that. Right? This is water. I wonder how it feels when you step on it, you know, like. Like, I wonder if it's still water and it holds the properties of water or, or is it like solidified? You know, that's like the question. And look at how, look at how the vegetation keeps changing, like gets grayer and like darker and darker and less. See how it gets less vegetative, vegetative, like vegetative, vegetation ish. You know what I mean, right? You see how it gets less green the more you go? So cool. I love that. Do you ever go hiking, Frosty? I used to uh, a lot more. Not, not, not recently, but I used to a lot more. Yeah. Do you, Stephanie, are you a fan of hiking? Down in the right, Patrick? Follow me. Their landscapes are very well done. The one thing Final Fantasy is still working on is facial shading. I found, like, recent Final Fantasy games I've had problems with facial shading. Is he trapped in there? Oh my god. He's literally a baby. He is literally a baby. Still primed. I'll never forget my first priming. The fear. Yeah. And I was old enough to understand what was happening. One can only imagine how this poor child felt. Right. He is it's not even a... It's an infant, dude. Sin. What sin? Committed by people who saw him as nothing but a means to an end. Oh. He must be so frightened. I don't think he's like aware of it. Then I'll ease his burden. You don't mean. I'm not going to hurt him. Contrary to the tales, I don't go around killing dominance for no reason. Yeah, we had to. If I told you there was a way to remove Wallace's icon. I tell you, you were a madman. Yeah, we can absorb icons so we can steal it's hard it. To believe, I know. But it can be done. Oh, it isn't without his risks. Part of the icon remains no matter what. So, it might still come to violence? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It depends on the dominant. I've seen things unwell, and I've seen things spiral out of control. Benedicta. One thing. If we turn our backs on this child... There will be no end to his suffering. And I think that a worse fate than the alternative. Don't you? All right, Christina, you take care, okay? Very well. Exercise is good for you? Oh, yeah. Very good for you. And whatever happens, I will own the consequences. He's gonna he's gonna relieve him of the icon. Afraid, little one. Let me bear the weight. He can. Yeah, he's Mythos, which means he can absorb other icons. He's the only one in the world that can do it.
Leviathan's priming. Oh, shoot. Okay, spawn of Leviathan. All right, boss time. I was he was angry. All right. Let's see what you've given me. All right, Leviathan, it is. The power of water. Life has claimed a portion of the icon Leviathan's essence, attuning to Leviathan. All right, again, I've read this before. Leviathan's feet. Leviathan's uh, iconic feet. Serpent's cry can use some of uh, a sea serpent incapable of dealing precision strikes and enemies at great distances. Pre pressing square in this state. Unleash a tidal torrent. Multiple bursts of water capable of forcefully knocking back. Smaller creatures pressing triangle will fire a powerful jet of water. Tidal stream and then wow, this is complex. Using these attacks will deplete your title ga uh, gauge, uh, becoming unavailable when the gauge is empty. The gauge will slowly replenish over time, but can be refilled quicker by pressing squ uh, circle. Time second press perfectly with on on screen prompt to immediately refill the gauge. Okay, I, that's really complicated. Press R1, you can roll. Title turn can be used by rolling by pressing square. Okay. Only Leviathan's abilities are uh, during this battle. Okay. Leviathan. Holy. Just an Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I have to refill. Oh man, that's crazy. I'm getting used to this. Dang! Oh my gosh! Let's go! Okay, so that one's always gonna be refill. Ah, that's what it does. Takes a little getting used to, but it's super cool. I'm out of water. So you always gotta be pay paying attention to your water. Oh, that's super cool. Aish. Oh my. Whoa, 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 whoa. Out of the way there, folks. Jet stream. What happens if you hold it? Oh, okay, it goes for a charged torrent. All right, nice. What, if, what happens if you hold this one? Oh, mega stream. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, this is super cool. I always forget this is an aim. Got him. Goes for ice. 
Oh, this is cool as heck. Oh, I like this. I like this fiery one. This one's super cool. Side slinger. Yeah, they made him into like a desperado, like a gunslinger. Super cool. Refill. There we go. Quick refill. Let's see. I wonder if we'll get more abilities from him or if this is it. I mean, not that I'm complaining, but it'd be nice to see more too. Ouch. See what happens when I... Okay. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. You really gotta be focused on a lot of things. Like, there's a lot of stuff to focus on. There it is. Refill. Missed. Missed again. There we go. GG's. Yo, Lester! Hello! How you doing, Lester? Love Banana Man. So do I. Ooh, look at that. 200, 280,000 XP. Level 101. Flawless Orb and Magitek Ash. Okay. GG's. Thank you, Hawkin. Welcome in, Hawkin, as well. Is everyone all right? I know I am. Seems calmer now. Sarah, what the heck? Sarah. So Alias was frozen in time. But he knew we were here. How? Thank you, Sarah, for the 20, Sarah Hype! Thank you. He's never reacted oh to my gosh. Anyone. Until now. Thank you, Sarah. Let's get some Sarah Hype. Let's go. Thank you. We must remove the seal at once. It's not. Let me pause the story so I don't miss it. Sarah. Holy crap, friend. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, friend. Wow. I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate that a lot, friend. Thank you. Lester did a dono? Did he? Didn't see it. Yo, Lester as well? Oh, I didn't... I missed it. Holy crap, I'm so sorry, Lester. With the 37, thank you so much, Lester. Let's get some Sarah and Lester Hive. Let's go. Holy crap. That is amazing. Wow. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Patrick, oh my gosh. Here we go. Patrick, thank you. I just wanted to say, I noticed it already. Oh, no. It came late. Sorry, Lester, I missed it. Lester, I love you. Do forgive me, friend. Thank you so much, Lester. I did miss it. I did miss it. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, moms. Thank you, uh, Sarah. Holy. Y'all are amazing, dude. Patrick hype. Lester hype. Moms hype. Sarah hype. Lester hype. Let's go. Do forgive me, Lester. I did. I really, honest to God, I did not see it. Patrick, thank you, my man, for the two. Thank you, guys. Yes, mate, hype. <laughs> It'd be nice if these glasses would. Work. Y'all listen. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, Melissa. Thank you. Oh, thank you, guys. Well, oh, y'all are so generous. Thank you. There's a train I'm in. <laughs> thank you, Melissa. I appreciate the two. Is it a two or three? 
too. Melissa does not have an iPhone. Good to know. Exit. Wow. What in the world, guys? Exit. Sarah, Patrick, Lester. Oh, I blame Lester. He started this. Choo-choo! He says choo-choo. <laughs> thank you, guys. Hey, thank you, guys. Holy moly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Savage. No, Savage. Stop it with the gifty. Savage giving a gifty to Matt G. Thank you, Savage. Accept my dono or else, matey. Oh, thank you, Exit. It's an honor to accept the seven. Wow. I wonder why you always go for that number. I think when you donate, you usually do an $8 dono. Thank you so much, Savage. I think it equates to $5 American, right? Probably. Thank you, everybody. Frosty with Frog literally... What frog literally put, pooped on iPhones in chat because of my jellyfish emoji? It was hilarious. What? <laughs> Wait, I'm a little confused. Ah, uh, it's my preset. Two ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Okay, it's your preset. All right. Wow. Thank you, Savage. Thank you, Exit, Sarah. I love you guys so much. I appreciate so much the support. Uh, it helps me a lot and blesses my life. Y'all are y'all are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And um I don't know. Just thank you so much. Just thank you so much. You remember that, Meowy? I don't remember. I don't remember what it is. What about Cam Nation, JJ? What about Cam Nation? Mm -mm. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Oh, right, Melissa. Oh, okay. Wow, guys. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate that. I appreciate all the support there. Not only are we playing Final Fantasy, it's hot in this room like heck, man. I have the fan going, but it's just... Dude, it's, it's like blazing hot in here right now. Uh, because, uh, jellyfish emoji, and you can only, uh, do jellyfish emoji with iPhone. So he's like, ah, iPhones, ah, I see. I can watch, uh, I can watch on my Samsung. I have a Samsung, and I, I watch, um, streams on there all the time. Doiny Frosty Stream. Take a layer off, Frosty. Ha <laughs> moms. <laughs> ah, moms. Leave it to moms. Kinky as always. Ta -da 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 -da. All right, guys. Thank you so much for the donuts. I really appreciate it. Sarah, Patrick, uh, Savage, Melissa, Lester. I love you guys. I appreciate all the extra support. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's continue. That's simple. I wish it were, wow. but that made my night, guys. It really did. Thank There's you. More to this tale. 
it would be better if I explained. Yeah, there's a part of the story that they're not telling us, right? Then let's return before it gets dark. I'm sorry, Walias. I will make this right. She knows something. She knows something. They're not telling us something. Thank you for so, uh, hug right back at you, Patrick. Inside you now, is it? Does it hurt? Mm, not like that. Not anymore, anyway. Good, because I still have need of your strength. If you want to know the rest, we should head to the Witten Hall. Oh boy. Of course. Yeah, we're gonna have a Lord Drump, uh, Drump, yes, Lord Drop here. Let's head there. I pretty much explored the village, so I don't think there's much I want to see here, but... We're gonna have a Lord Drop here, so... Oh, I thought it was there. No, it's here. Lurking again. Thank you, mobs. Alright, guys. Lord drop. Let's go. I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually interested in... To understand the spell which binds Walius, you must first know who we are and what drove my forebears to commit such an atrocity. This... Tapestry. Oh, this shoot. Is our story, the one that brought us here. After generations of wandering, my people sought refuge in Northeastern Storm some hundred and seventy years ago. But in exchange for our safety, the Gregorian Church demanded we renounce our faith and branded us heretics when we could not. To be exterminated. As a lesson to others. And so was it chronicled in the Imperial histories, for anything less would have made the church seem weak. Yet a handful survived. The few who did fled north and west, and in doing so discovered two things that would forever shape our fates. The first was an old legend revealing how to make your very own Mother Crystal. Oh, shoot. I've heard that one before. Yes. Yet it gave them new hope, however false. Our ancestors convinced themselves that they could recreate the divine if they could only find a strong enough heart. A living being capable of channeling torrents of ether. And the heavens provided the kid. A dominant. Oh, yes. They had stumbled across a nostrum in an ancient ruin, which they believed could provoke a sudden outpouring of a creature's ether. They meant to enrage his icon. Leviathan would have destroyed everything, had our people not made their second important discovery. A means to stop time itself. Where did they find that? Whoa. The Northerners had no such magic, so they would have used them. When our ancestors first arrived, the land was uninhabited, save for an old witch who lived on the highest peak. Her body had been consumed by the curse, a cruel payment for her long years of service to the Northern Thanes. So desperate were they to prevent the fall of Drake's eye, they'd forced her to devise a spell to stop time. But Drake's eye did fall. It did. When she finally perfected the necessary magics, it was already too late. As punishment for her failure, the Thanes exiled her to this forsaken place to live out the few days she had left. Knowing her suffering, our ancestors cared for her as best they could, and in return, she gifted them her spell. That even though she should die, a legacy might live on.
so armed with both the knowledge of the ancients and the secrets of time. Our ancestors settled upon an ambitious plan. They would create a new Mother Crystal and enchant it that it might endure for all eternity. Thus would our people's wandering, our suffering, finally end and prosperity visit us once more. And all it would require was the sacrifice of a single child. A small price to pay, or so they believed. Okay. Another victim of man's blind reliance on the Mother Crystals. So we know the seal source. How do we break it and restore the flow of time? Do you recall the Dome of Light on top of the cliffs to the west? Inside lie the ruins of an old temple. It was there that the witch built the Vare, a conduit of sorts that channels her remaining ether into the surge. Hmm. But it's been a long time since anyone set foot in the place. Right. And now, there are others who claim it as their own. Of course. Then we shall go prepared for a fight. That said, it may be best if one of us stays behind. What? You think the village could be in danger? We saw the ether flow from Walius in all directions, but only encountered a single familiar. There will be more. And should even one make its way here, I doubt the walls could hold it back for long. Then I shall stay. The Phoenix will see your people safe, tributary. You have my thanks. Okay. Very well. We should depart at once. I fear time may no longer be a luxury we can afford. Ooh, okay, so this is, it was a little better than what I expected. I expected something way worse than that, but it's a little better than that. Um, story got a little mystical there. A little, the Vare is not a little mystical, right? Find. We must first head north and then west, deeper into the forest. Okay, we got some side quests here. And Okay, so basically they wanted to create their own mother crystal because they were, they were basically it's kind of like what the Romans did uh, with people, right? Where they massacred people who weren't uh, the faith and stuff. Um, basically what's happening here is these, these people had their own faith. They didn't want to relinquish it or stop believing in it. And so the Imperials... Uh, which is the Sam Breck, right? Basically drove them out and chased them to kill them and they separated into two groups. And uh, they basically created, they thought of a way to create a mother crystal so that they could have prosperity and... You know, because all the kingdoms were created around the mother crystals, right? So they wanted to create their own. And... The way they found to do that was to get a massive amount of ether. And then make it eternal. So they found that witch who who was very proficient with magic. And they basically had her create a spell that would last for eternity. And then they used the baby as the ether source because he's an icon. So he generates a lot of ether, right? Which is basically like magic power, right? Yes. Um. Ooh, tight strike reforged. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Not better than, but cool. Guy blade reforged. I mean, I could do this, but. Done. Dude, did I equip that? Good yeah. to you. I didn't mean to equip that. Oh well, let's go here. Um, Leviathan's channeled. Oh my gosh, there is Leviathan. I want to see its ultimate. Serpent's Cry, okay. Deluge, right. Crosswell, nice. And Abyssal Tear. Abyssal Tear. Tear. 
rip open a slowly expanding gateway to the murky depths of the sea and when the timing is right summon forth an abyssal storm that hones in on okay so it's like a it's an investment all right and what's the ultimate That's that's so cool. T tsunami. God. That is cool as heck. I don't know. They're all super cool, so I don't even know which one I want to go with. What does this one do? Okay. There's the master. Nice. Got it all. Alright, we're going to equip that for obvious reasons, right? Uh, we'll replace it with Bahamu. Because, why not? And... You know what? Let's replace it with Shiva. You know, let's replace it with Bahamut, actually. Wow, so cool. Alright. I'm gonna try the other one. Abyssal Tear. And Tsunami. We're gonna put Tsunami instead of... I'm gonna put Tsunami here. Sheesh. Diamond Dust. Let's put Tsunami here. Sheesh. It's gonna be crazy. Alright, let's go into our items. Why the heck do I have Tide Strike Reforged? I want my Ultima weapon, bro. I worked far too dang hard for this thing. The Breath of Fire, we definitely do not want that. 30%, 10%, fantastic. Uh, reduces ability cooldown time and restores small amount of HP regain gauge. Uh, following a precision dodge. Uh, effect potency directly affected by the strength of the attack dodged. That is actually pretty cool. Increases HP regain potential when taking damage automatically restoring HP resistance. All increase will, will damage uh, dealt using most aerial attacks. Mm. Increases precise parry timing and temporarily. Nope. Increases rate at which damage multiplier is this the one. Right, that's the one I want. Good. It's looking good. It's looking fantastic, guys. Just is everything all I'm gonna be yeah, skipping a little bit of this. Heal up tree. And this okay. Is One of my patients. Asian? He took ill, not nothing too serious, I hope. I hope so too. But this affliction, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. He complains of feeling chilled to the bone, but there's no fever to go with it. And my most powerful antalgic hasn't done a thing to ease the pain in his chest. Ah. I started to wonder if his condition might require a different kind of treatment. Altic Shula said that you were here to help us. You couldn't help me. The phoenix might be. Oh, Genki, hello. I'm lurking, that's okay. I think the phoenix might help. All I need you to do is speak to Talon's son, Pavat, over at the forge, and ask if he knows what his father was up to before he came. Something the trouble is, so while you talk to Pavat, I'll pay his wife. Right. Alright. I know who that is. I skipped a little bit of that, just because by the subtitles I can see more or less what they're saying. Uh, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like, you, you get the gist of what they're gonna say. Talk to this guy, he's gonna tell you where his father's been. Give us a clue about why he's sick. I do. Not from the forge. Fenna asked me to ask him so if she's looking into this. I wondered she's if you shed any light. Sea. Sorry. She shouldn't have dragged It's no trouble, really. Tell me. Did your father do anything out of the ordinary before? Not that I know of. But then I hardly see him. He's always out oh, and about. No, no, no. I suppose he might have been a bit more fidgety than usual. But if... when you say out and about, where does he usually. Just around the village. Wanders over to Blazir's place most days. He's a fisher who lives on the other side of the fount. Maybe he knows something. Maybe. 
All right, let's speak to the fisherman. Happy lurking. There we go. Uh, cable is, yeah. People don't watch cable anymore. Not really, no. Somebody left the village. Take me one of my Okay. Shula said you were a force to be reckoned with, are you? Hey? Oh, sorry. I'm with um, a friend of mine. He went to okay. the forest and he hasn't Would you okay. find him? Yeah, I'll help you. All right, pretty self-explanatory. Of course. You know about the glamour our ancestors cast to keep this place hidden, right? Right. Shula told us about it. Right. So you know the cans we use to maintain the spell. Well, it's mm -hmm. me and my friend's job to maintain them. Oh. If it weren't for the likes of us, it would have faded years ago. So your friend went into the forest to visit one of these cairns. Ah, that's right. He said he was going down to Father's Fell. There are two cairns out that way, one by the banks of the Swift Run, and another near the Winged Wains. Okay. Ships in the forest. Okay. Right. How will I... His name's Nassif. He's about my height, but clean-shaven. If you could track him down and see that he's come to no harm, I'd be much obliged. I'll search the village, just in case anyone's seen him. Very well. All right, pretty simple enough. What's cable? <laughs> what indeed? What is cable indeed? By the ships, another by the river. Better get moving. You two draw it. All right, another quest. Jeez. There's a lot of them. With which I would beg you. Of course, what is it? Please, not so. Something serious. Yes. Okay. I think I was passing by the low gate when I saw a figure moving among the trees. Okay. Cloak. Okay. At first, I thought it must have been you or your brother, so I didn't say anything. But the more I think about it, the more certain I am that the figure look. Then you're sure it wasn't one of the other villagers? Positive. I think it was someone from outside the wall who has found his way inside. Ooh. Of course, never heard of it. Could just be my imagination <laughs> playing tricks on me. I only caught a fleeting glimpse, and it might have been you or your brother. But if it is who I think it is, we cannot allow him to leave now that he knows we're here. Would you go and see? Or he won't try to hurt. I'll find them in the forest. Very well. so basically, they're giving us a reason to like go to the yeah, split so paths so that we saw before. Know we need to know. It may yet be someone else entirely. Someone who means your people or my people harm. Perhaps. Just promise me. Don't worry. Thank you. We'll find them. Uh, a customer. I'll explain later. Okay, I missed. It's funny that I hardly skipped anything, and the part that I actually needed to hear is the part that I skipped. Then that's always the case. If we pick too many Is this the fisher? I think this is him. Greeting, stranger. What can I do for you? Your name is Blazir, is it not? Pavard tells me you're a friend of his father's. And that the two of you may have spent some time together. Is Elvis? Talor's never been ill a day in his life. I don't know why it's dark out. Oh, Fennet doesn't know well. either. It was she who asked me to look into his recent behavior on the off chance it might explain how his condition arose. Oh, uh, uh, I suppose there was something that struck me as a bit odd. He kept asking about the work. Did you see anything strange on your way back from the shore? Are you certain? Do you swear? That kind of thing. Okay. Of but he wouldn't let it go. It was like he was expecting something to happen. It was just a matter of when. Not that I know what. Well, that certainly does sound up. And it might just be what Fennet is looking for. Oh, don't mention it. Oh, and when you say to law, uh, wish him the best from me, eh? Let's see what the healer makes of this. I can hardly believe it. Okay, so something in the forest that he was looking for might have made him sick or something. Not entirely sure. 
All right, let's go here first of all. Is Ambrosia here? Without even Ambrosia could find me here. Yeah. Didn't think she would be here. Quest destination nearby. Right on. Right on. Well, the birds are chirping. Not sure that means anything. Can't go that way. Certainly no Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um... Search for nicer than the Ruin of Fuzzfall. Search for the Intruder on the Cloak. Oh, there's something here. Okay. I missed it. Breath of the Arbor. Perfume from Sambrak. Looks expensive too. Ooh, someone from Sambrak? We destroyed Sambrak though. Who's there? Stop! Come on, Clive. Time to put those iconic abilities to change. To work. Turn into Ifrit and you'll outrun him. Oh, he got in trouble. All right. Don't take me. I'll give you gut rot. I swear. Stand back. I'll handle this. See what this abyssal does. Oh, it's just like looming there. Oof. It just keeps growing. Oh, shoot. Holy crap. That was some damage. Ooh. Holy crap, okay. Not too bad. Are you all right? It's Nickelback. I'm more than all right. I'm saved. Oh, I could kiss you. Please don't. Maybe you should introduce yourself first. Murphy, <laughs> I knew it was you. What are you doing I'm here? I came to see you. Oh, oh my, my little canary. It's been so long. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Saving him and sparing him. Who is he? Hervey. One of many clients from my employment beyond the wall. Ooh. One of many clients? We spoke every night of our plans together. Whispered songs of love into each other's ears. Oh no. And then you upped and vanished without so much as a word. It's her job, dude. It's it's her job, dude. You're getting this wrong. I was sorry. But that we could never be together. That I could never abandon my family. And I told you not to look for me. Oh, how did you even find this place? Wow. Anyway? The flame of your love was as a beacon in the night that guided me to you. You followed her. Hervey. Uh. I was walking by the coast near Northreach when I saw a lady who looked like you. Eyes like the ocean. Hair like the driven snow. The next moment, she and her companions were jumping in a skiff and sailing out towards the wave. So I, uh, borrowed the nearest boat and started rowing. Borrowed. It must have been Shula bringing us here. So what? You rowed, found a nose how many leagues across the bay. Simply because you saw a woman with white hair. Hmm. And as I did, the skies changed from a dull and hopeless gray to a bright and benevolent blue. That. Nice, moms. Are you for certain that my little canary was 
Close. Yeah, he has a he has a hard thing for her, yeah. Why did you come? You should have forgotten me as I tried to forget you. She likes him back. She likes him back. I cannot leave my people, Hervé. And now that you know about this place, neither can you. We must return to Haven and accept my family's judgment. Oh boy. I'm to meet your family. Ah, I don't think it's oh, like that. My little canary. Please come and see me later. You did as I asked. I'm I'm intrigued to see what happens to them. I want to see what happens to them. To the end of the world and beyond. But they don't seem they don't seem to be like a big community, right? Like how are these people procreating, right? Never have found this place. Is it, is it like Game of Thrones style or Don't blame yourself. I doubt anything could have kept that man away. Sounds good, moms. Let me see. Forgive me. Oh, the parents are talking to him? There's nothing to forgive. You two met at the veil, I take it. Yeah. When I worked there, yes. Why would you work there? The that my people need to survive. It makes sense, okay. Though Mycidia is our sanctuary, there are certain necessities that it cannot provide. And for that reason, some of us seek employment beyond the wall. Yet few are the opportunities for followers of a strange faith in a strange land. But you don't have to tell them that. So you supported your family as best you could. I did. And I have never regretted it for a moment. I found a second family in the Vale. And in the Dame, a second mother. Aww. I also found Hervey. <laughs> but our love could never be. I knew that if I revealed my secret to him, I would be putting my people in danger. But that if I did not, I would be living a lie, unable to return home. What will happen to him now? Since our people settled in Mesidia, uninvited visitors have been few and far between. Mm. Not unknown. Explorers, survivors of shipwrecks, none lasted long. I see. That was before my time, um. you understand. I've never had to make a decision like this before. Yamila, know that I do not blame you for any of this. It was me who decided to make the trip to shore. Me, who exposed our secret. This was my mistake, and I shall bear the responsibility. Wow, she's, she's a hardcore, dude. Terry. I only hope, I only beg you to remember that Hervé means us no ill will. He's just a fool. A fool who loves me. Oh. I will take that into consideration. But yours is not the only voice I must listen to. The whole family must be consulted, and it may take time for me to arrive at my decision. I hope you understand. Of course, tributary. However long it takes. They might kill him then. They might kill the guy. That's crazy. Come what may, I thank you, my lord, for bringing us back together. That's barbaric, dude. I wonder what's going to happen to him, but that's barbaric. Barbaric. You want to hope that he's going to be fine. Even if he's a mindless idiot, but he's still a human being. I don't care what happens to me. Now I've found my little canary. I'm not going anywhere. I don't know that this is what you want to be saying right now. Not sure that's what he should be saying, guys, right? <laughs> All 
All right, here we go. What's this? Oh, the girl. Okay. What's wrong with him then? With word, but she couldn't tell me anything. Did you? Nothing conclusive. Lazia, the fisherman, told me that Talor had taken a sudden interest in the forest of late. The forest. I was asking him if he'd seen anything unusual there on his way back from the coast, but never let on what exactly he was expecting him to have seen. The forest mm. between here and the core, surely not. But then. What do you mean, a rare monster? Then... With some poison in him? I can't say for sure. But I think Talor's illness might have some connection to the Tombreys. Whoa! Have you encountered them during your time here? The small, scaly beastmen? Mm hmm. And you think they may have caused Talor's illness? I do. At least in a way. And if I'm right, it's no wonder the treatments I've been trying. Oh, I know it's a lot to ask, but would you go down into Father's? There's an altar there. And if my fears are true and offering upon it, please. Okay. I'll explain everything when you return, but time right, Let's go. Yeah, she wants me to go to that altar that I saw not too long ago. You guys remember I saw it and I said, yeah, we're coming here for a quest for sure. Things. It's how they work with this game. So we know we know where we have to go at least. Oh yeah, JJ? Hail stranger. And once everyone left me. I don't think I even put warranty on my phone, to be honest. Fathers fell. I can see why they fell. Kind of slippery slopey here. The shipwrecks to reach the coast. Now we must head in the opposite direction. Left it is then. It was here, right? Yeah, pretty sure it's here. Thing I know about beastmen is that they love to hide in the dark. It's true. Ah, there are the tomberries. All right, let's slay them. Death to you, good sir. I mean, bad sir. My gosh, they look exactly like they look like realistic tomberries. It's crazy. They look more like lizards now. It's crazy what they did with them because their feet were always like very weird. They were very smurfy. Their feet were always very smurfy. Now they're like. Spiteful, hateful little creatures, these guys. Alright. We're going full power. Oof! Gosh dang, that's crazy. That was it, dude. Quite powerful. That was that was pretty easy, not gonna lie. But tidal wave or tsunami is pretty powerful. Let's see what Ah, uh, some kind of some kind of like voodoo doll maybe. A silver chain. His silver chain, maybe. I doubt the Tombreys made it. This must be what Fennet was talking about. All right, that's done. Let me look before... No, I, we won't go back. We'll just do the rest of them, and... Then we'll, uh... We'll go back. After that. Leviathan. I don't think we'll be fighting Leviathan tonight. I was like, really? Oh, yeah, it's one of those cairns, right? They call them cairns. 
Ah, where's the guy at? I bet we're gonna fight. Usually how these quests work is... You fight a guy at the end of it. You look for clues, then you find one clue, you find another clue, and then you find the guy. And it's a monster, you have to fight it. Karma? But no son of Nasef. Is it Karma? I don't think they call them Karma. It's because of Cairns or some. Cairns. Spelled C A I R N. Uh, let me see. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, that's that to give it back. Oh, let's go this way then. Chris, it's great to see you here, man. You've been feeling okay, I hope, man. I hope you've been doing okay. I know you've been going through some rough times. I'm here for you, bro. I hope you've been okay. Northern Wolf. Yeah, I'm, I'm very strong, to be honest. The forest is crawling with life, most of it hungry, which is why we make sure this gate stays shut. And why you carry that impressive looking axe, I presume. <laughs> Noticed her, have you? <laughs> Doing the best that I can, no, of course. Well, I hope the stream has helped. Wow, look at how beautiful this is. It's almost like. It's almost like the oasis in the Lion King, right? When Timon and Pumbaa, when he meets him. Ooh, new enemies. Crap. You have to stop when you do that. Oh yeah, that does good damage. It's a good idea for that move, actually. Yeah, Leviathan is pretty cool. Yeah, it, it, I've never heard of that word. Are you familiar with the word, friend? I haven't even heard of it. We go. Horse pools of silk. Are these the ruins? Yes. So it seems. As far as we can tell, they're part of the same complex as the temple itself. To think of all the people who must once have lived here. Came the wrong way. The rising tide, ooh. Came the wrong way. And I don't have Ambrosia. Guess we're running, guys. Oh, it's a trail marker. Oh, so you do know what it is. You're better off than me. I didn't know what that was. Oh, yeah, you know more than I do, then. I'm still on track. But I don't. Oh, you see them all the time. Ah, uh, well, I've hiked a little bit, but I never. I don't. I don't remember coming across that that name ever. Oh. 
Ah, who have we here? Ooh, it's him. I'm looking for a man named Nasef. Hi, I know him. Takes care of the cans. Wait. You See, Cairns the right there. Did you? Sorry, mate. I'm just out to gym me sell a few ibexes. What do you want with the lad, anyway? Uh, his friend, Katav, asked me to look for him. Apparently, he ventured out to work on one of these cans and didn't return. Well, that is a worry. You're a hunter, yes? Really, JJ? You must know the woods as well as any. Uh, there's a bridge further down the path. Blasted thing got washed away a few moons back. Our carpenter only recently had to. But if I remember rightly, there is another can on the. Okay, I'll find him. Maybe. Don't mention. Let's hope. And that beast right there. What is what is the meaning of that? What's the meaning of that thing right there, huh? Company. This must be the bridge the hunter was talking about. That move, that move is, is good, is good. It reminds me of Gungaga, right? The music is very nice and calming. Very much like the music here. Like I said, he was going to be involved in something. Of course he is. Such a, ooh. Okay, let's try and uh, stagger the guy. There we go. Guy's mostly weak to magic. I don't really have any magic right now. Oh, I guess I could go with Leviathan. Yeah, Leviathan's doing a lot more damage. Didn't do much. There it is. There you go. Not too bad. Uh, we're almost level 102. I surmised we'd be at level 104 by the end of the DLC. I think that might have been a little too generous. 103, maybe? If it's Leviathan right after this, then... Uh, I'm the tributary's guest. I am? But Your friend Katav asked me to look for you when you didn't return. Ah, uh, I was so focused on attuning the cairn, I didn't see those creatures coming. Ah. Uh. How exactly do they work? Oh, that there are crystals inside. They're what keeps the glamour going. Mm. Should the ether cease to flow through too many of them, our shroud would quickly unravel. It's my job to make sure that doesn't happen. And an important job it is. But you'll struggle to do it if you're dead. Hmm. You need to take more care. Yeah. The truth is, 
Me and Katav usually work together. Uh huh. Watching each other's backs, like. But when we heard outsiders were coming, we split up to get the job done faster, so things would be perfect for your arrival. <sighs> Stupid. So you found him then? Not, not with your help. Not before the local fauna did. Huh. My arrival seemed to put them off their dinner. <laughs> Expect you'll be wanting someone to escort you back to the village then, Nasef. The woods are full of nasties today. Surprised you made it. Haven, be sure to come and see us. You saved my life. It's only right I repay you. If you insist. Alright, he's gonna give us some some money back. Nice. Alright, we're gonna collect these collect these uh, missions and we'll check out the rising tide, which is the name of the DLC, which probably is going to give us something very good. I, thought I'd lost I don't know. You. I don't know if we're going to fight. So uh, if it's going to have us fight Leviathan right now or not, but. You. Oh. All that matters is that you're far be it from me to tell you how to do your jobs, but. Or if we have to, it take your bear. That we are. Oh, thank the tides. The others can't attune to the crystals in the cairns the same way we can. I reckon this place. Would... So. You do the We're forced to. Mm -hmm. No. From what I've heard of the way things work on the outside, we were truly blessed that our our people are few enough as it is. If we started turning on each other, kin. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all's well that ends well, eh? All right. That was, that was a cool quest. I mean, the quests in this game are like the side quests in this game are pretty much. This is pretty much what it is. Help someone out, go out, find them, fight a boss, come back. It's really, it's really what it is. Not much more goes into it. But, I'm not complaining. You're back. Silver chain. We were doing voodoo on him, man. Well, I'm still none the wiser. Forgive me. This chain. It's a Gregorian Maternoster. Maternoster. By men of the faith. What's it doing here? And why would the Tombries be praying to it? To understand that, you need to understand what the Tombries are. Oof. They feed on hatred and suffering. Mm -hmm. And some say that if you render them an offering, some token of grievance against your fellow man, they will put a curse upon him. So you mm -hmm. think someone's put a Tombry curse on Talor? I, uh, I can't say for sure. I mean, makes sense. I, told, I always assumed it was an old wives' tale. But given his fear of the forest and the presence of the chain on the altar, I, I don't know what else to think. Does Talor have any enemies in the village? Anyone who would nurse such a grudge? No, no, I believe the one who left the chain at the altar was Talor himself. Yeah. I beg your pardon. But there's more to the tale, you see. It's said that if you attempt to curse a soul that has returned to the sea already, your ire has nowhere to go but back to its source. You're saying he cursed himself? Oh, he's trying to curse someone, but Should they're I dead. Curse another eye. Oh, when so he cursed himself. Younger, he was one of the few permitted to venture beyond the wall on trading expeditions. He told us that when he journeyed to Sandbreck, he'd wear that chain to disguise his true beliefs, lest Grieger's faithful turn their cudgels on him. Did they ever catch him in his deception? Might that explain the ill will he bears someone? Not that he ever told me. Mm. All right. Thank you. Aye, and thanks for going to all this trouble. No problem. Oh. Mission complete. Call it an adder stone. It's a gatherer's charm. Reacts to certain rare minerals we use in crafting. Makes them ring out like a bell. Stuff you'd have no chance of spotting otherwise. Whoa. Okay. If you find anything, see that you bring it back to me. I can make you some decent gear with it. If you're interested, like. I am, thank you. And I'll be... Wow. We got some Adler Stone. 
Okay, alien remote with other aquamarine charms. Okay, so we get more of them. Necessary for crafting. Ooh, serpent rings. Nice. Probably really good equipment, I would imagine. Check it out. Serpent rings. You have obtained the design of draft of the serpent rings accessories that, when equipped, enhance Leviathan's iconic abilities. Oh, that. That's what it is. To create, I'm speak with the black thorn. Oh, okay. Adler stone. You have obtained an adder stone carved from aquamarine. Adder stones will resonate both audibly and visibly with other nearby sources of the precious gemstone making them invaluable in gathering gathering a rare crafting material Your controller will also vibrate when in proximity aquamarine is hidden throughout Mysidia, so be sure to check every corner of the region a region so please note that some aquamarine locations will differ between action story focused modes and final fantasy mode oh my gosh okay Okay, that's interesting. Reckon my steel's just as good as any. There's the serpents. I don't have enough aquamarines. I'd have to. I don't have uh, ageless oil stone. A good tide to you. Good tide to you, sir. The music is amazing here. I love it so much. Oh wait, that's the same... Isn't it? That's the guy already at the ground. Is this new? Are you a rider by any chance? Ah, shoot. I am. Oh, I can smell it. And not just any stables. Something tells me you've never been one to ride half-starved birds with chine gall and wet beak. Sir. If I had a guess, I'd say your bird eats only the finest greens and has our feathers groomed twice a day with a curl hairbrush. Something like that. <laughs> Nothing but the best for my Ambrosia. Ambrosia, eh? Pretty name. What she like? She's a white feathered well, she's tall and strong. And her feathers are as white as snow. You're joking. You've got a white chocobo. Mm-hmm. I have, yes. I suppose they are rather rare. This I've got to see. Can you bring her here? I would if I could, but I doubt Shula's skiff could hold her. Me dad's got a boat. And he's very chocobos before. You could get him. It'd be perfect timing and all. He's preparing for a trip beyond the wall as we speak. He would. Well, all right then. He'll be in the storehouse on the other side of the brook. Tell. Manda sent you. Okay. I do have a Genshin. What? Not Genshin. A gaming smartwatch, uh, but I use it for running, not hiking. A smartwatch? Smartphone. Wait. The smartphone. Smartwatch, yeah. A gaming smartwatch? I didn't know they made gaming smartwatches. Really? Bastard things. How do you game in a smartwatch? Not too small a screen. Garmin. Oh, a Garmin. Oh, Garmin. You oh, it's a brand. Amazing. Okay. I am. Shula invited me. I am. She's asked us. To... <sighs> or you could just say it no. Aren't... But truth be told, I didn't take the idea. <sighs> if you're sure that's what you want. Still. But don't, I'll need you to bring us a mimic gourd or two to keep her calm on the journey over. And, uh... Oh, don't ask me. It's been years since I last brought a chocobo across the bay. And I'm told the world's changed a fair bit since then. 
Where do you usually get your... Well, the man who made Ambrosius Tack lived in Martha's Rest, and... If I remember correctly, he traded in chocolate, so I suppose I'll go and ask him. I'll be sailing over to Northreach soon to pick up some supplies. While I do that, you collect your bird. Alright. I got the gist of what he was saying, so didn't need to read that, but... So we have to go to Martha's Rest. Right here. Funny that they would bring us back here for this. Is a hiker's dream? I don't know anything about it. Honestly. This guy. She's very Oh, don't thank me anyway. What? I was hoping and I thought you might be able to okay. do better than that. Just so happens. I wow. A whole carload of the blasted things. Not really. I uh, you'd be doing me a favor taking it, but just be on the lookout for wild bird. I will. Oh, you're very welcome. Any friend of White Heart is a friend of and in times like these. Alright, here we go. They're still just making us go around. We want to keep Ender's father waiting. All right, let's go find the father now. Oh, wait, there's something here. Something new at the shop? Oh, let's check it out. Might be something for my collection. Ah, Lord Rosfield. <laughs> Probably not. What are you after? The Masamune. The Regal Sash. Oh, the Breath of Light set alight. Okay. Na, 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 na. Oh, here we go. Songs. Thanks very much. There you go. Thanks very much. There you go. Much obliged. Thanks very much. There you go. Dang, there's so many. Thanks very much. Much obliged. There you go. Much obliged. Thanks very much. Take care out there, eh? <laughs> that was a great conversation. Much obliged. Thanks very much. Much obliged. There's gonna be a North Reach, right? Yeah. It'd say North Reach. I wonder how we do travel this fast. And now my I help the garrison today. All right, all we have to do is find this guy now and uh, we should get Ambrosia over. I thought it was weird that they wouldn't bring Ambrosia back. Ambrosia in, but I guess they did. Didn't fight like men. No use calling Ambrosia now. Come here, girl. Let's go. You and I. We're gonna bring you over. Let's go. Faster. 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 And talk to him while on the bird. Fine. Ah, there you are. And this must be Ambrosia, was it? Oh, she's a real beauty, isn't she? I have the mimic or two. Here. Nice. Thank you kindly. Soon as she's gobbled this up, we'll set. We're going to take a little trip across the bay now, Ambrosia. Don't worry. You'll be all right. She's missing it. She has an eye patch because she was hit. He saved us in the beginning of the game. Got hit in the eye with a rock. Saving our life. Well, we made it. You did and all. <laughs> she is as white as snow. You're beautiful, aren't you, girl? Brave, too. She was calm as you like on the journey up. The Mimic Gourd will have played its part, of course. 
but passing through the wall is enough to spook most birds even then. Not this one, though. Ambrosia's been through a lot. Yeah. I doubt there's much that could unnerve her now. Not with a beloved master by her side. No. It's you who looks after me, isn't it, girl? Hmm. Anyway, thanks for bringing her here. I hope I can breed a bird like her some. And if you and Ambrosia need ferrying back to Northreach, you only need... Thank you. That's how I get Ambrosia here. I mean, there's not much map to even go over, so I don't know why. I thought it was a little obsolete to bring her either and over, but sure. It gets us the experience. Sure. Should sleep. You going to you going to bed, JJ? Getting tired there, JJ. I think we're done with everything. All we need to do now is head to head to where we need to head. And once everyone left me in peace. She is. She is. She's a bad bird. <laughs> Let's see what awaits us at the end here. I do believe... I do believe it was this way... The music gets me, dude. It's just... It's, it's very Final Fantasy-esque. You deserve a rest. Alright, let's go. Hey, Kimbo! Thank you, Kimbo, for lurking. How have you been, friend? Am I in the wrong place? No, I'm not. Get Ambrosia back. He does help, not gonna lie. How have you been, Kimbo? Tell me tell me everything. How have you been, friend? Ready to go home from work? I bet so. What is that? Beast. Ringing. Oh, he's got. Oh, okay. We still have seven hours to go. Oh no. Wait, you just started then, huh? He has one of- uh, this guy has one of those adamantites or whatever they call it again. This thing has HP like crazy. Oof. Oh, how's he here? Yeah, I'm trapped. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Seems like it 
isn't only Haven's blacksmith that has an appetite for these things. Nice. Wait, did I get it or do I have to like pick it up or something? I'm almost halfway through. Wait, are you working 14 hours? You're saying you have like seven hours left. That means, and you're halfway through. That means you had another seven hours gone. She's from the north, but not really. <laughs> she is. She was born in the north, but she was raised with us in, not in the north. She was raised with Clive, right? Wow, this is kind of big. Yeah, I worked twelve hours. I said I'm almost halfway. Almost, but that still means... Well, that makes it even worse, though. If it's almost, it's even worse. Oh, what the heck is this thing? Is that a curl? It is a curl. And it's kicking my butt. That's what it is. I'm trying to heal, man. Very well. Have it your way. It doesn't do much. It doesn't do stagger, but it does like. Wow, this thing is powerful. Very well. I'm gonna have to hit it hard. This thing is very strong. There's a stagger. Nice. Not gonna kill, but... Oh my gosh! Jeez Louise, what the heck is this thing? Holy crap! Jeez, okay. Actually pretty strong enemy here. Keep hitting, I'm not used to... I'm really not used to that. Keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, is it very peaceful, Kimbo? Yeah, you could just be on your phone a little bit, maybe, right? It, gives, it allows you to be on your phone a little bit, so you can be... You can be on your phone a little bit. Get out of the flippin' way! Dang! Got him. There it is. Come on! Dang, this thing doesn't die. Holy crap, just die! Okay, oof. Dang, that was 360,000 XP, which is impressive. That thing was impressive, holy crap. Oh, uh, so you're technically not supposed to be there, so what does that mean? Like, are you doing extra hours then for extra money? You doing, you doing, uh...
doing the extra work there. But, um, I think I might have missed like quite a bit of. I did miss. Time is it? Oh, gosh, it's time to end. Yeah, it's already late. I started a little bit later, but time to end. Uh, for those of you, overtime. Yeah, overtime. That's doggone it, man. Fuller, thank you so much. That is the word I was looking for and I couldn't find it. I was like, what's that word when you do like extra hours? And I just, the only thing that kept coming to mind was extra hours, extra hours, extra hours. I was like, what? Wait a minute. But there, there's a word for this and I couldn't remember it. Thank you, Fola. That you just you just scratched the itch of my brain right there. I was like, what the heck is that word, man? The scorpions? Okay, well, um. Uh, sure. Not. So I first I first came in and I took a right there. I'm gonna take a left now. Okay, well this is pretty. Hey, this is pretty cool. Nice. Look at all the like almost like ink and inspiration, right? So cool. It kind of reminds me of the forest in Final Fantasy X. It really reminds me of the forest in Final Fantasy X. So I've been thinking about the oh. No, I'm not going to fight this guy again. Screw that. There must be treasure there. I'm just going to nap the treasure and leave. There has to be treasure here. Of course. Sixty bloody hides, six dude, that's so not something I need. Alright. Ah, uh, I see I see, Gimbo. Well so long you it seems like you are at least having a chill time there. Ouch. Go with a strength tonic as well. I did a little bit of damage, but... Yeah, these things are very resistant. Get out of the way! Oof. There we go. Missed. Oh, gosh. All right, let's go again. Stagger. It won't stagger, but it probably hit pretty hard. There we go. Hold snap. Nice. Into vortex. Abyssal vortex. Oh gosh. Torgal ate that one. You can hear Torgal in the background. He's not doing well. Okay. Stagger. This guy does a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. There it is. I still didn't level up. Mother sucker, man. Crap. Sure would have been nice if I leveled up. Very close. What do we got here? Ten seeds of steel silk. Steel silk? Silk steel? Uh, where's Ambrosia? Here you are. They say a Ambrosia. Ambrosia. I say Ambrosia. Oh, Ambrosia. 
Ambrosia. Um, Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Hard to say it with their accent. Alright, uh, we're doing great though. We're doing great. Uh, we're just gonna reach that area and see what the heck is gonna happen. Savage, are you here, Savage? Is Savage, Savage King, are you, are you here tonight? I know you're here tonight, but are you here right now? Is my man Savage here tonight? Get surrounded. I think we got Tweja there. We do have Tweja. No can do? Okay, well. Gotta kill the scorpions, folks. Alright, Savage, we're gonna- Is McMagma here? We're gonna be watching the last- the final episodes tonight. Of, uh, Resident Alien. Deluge. Oh, sounds good. If you want to watch, if you're not busy, of course. I don't know what your life is looking like, but since you've been hang you've been hanging out every night, I thought you might be interested, right? If you're interested, that's for everyone, not just for Savage. Like we're we've been watching like this series together on the Discord after streams. I know it started for uh, Tard. Yeah, that's the Portuguese word for. Um, Relate. I, I do confuse my languages at times. Yeah, the way you say late is hard in Portuguese, and I literally said that. I know it's a little late uh, after I stream, but you guys can um, you see that cave can join there? us still. You, you missed more, a lot of the story, though. <laughs> carved a flight of stairs into the stone within. Away to the top. Uh, nice, yeah, Chaz. Let's go. I like it so much better uh, than working, okay, six days a week and a second shift. Okay, so, oh, that's phenomenal, Kimbo. So you're you're really enjoying it, huh? Okay, so this here is going to probably be the, let me see, the heir of ours. All right, so we're going to have another one. Okay, all right, so, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, we're not going to, we're not going to finish tonight. We're, not, we're gonna leave the rest of the DLC probably for Saturday. We're gonna finish it up on Saturday, I guess. Tomorrow I'm doing a collab with Zed, so I'm probably not gonna be playing this. So... Yeah, we'll leave it for Saturday. So what's gonna happen is... Yep, yeah, I think that works. Yeah, because here it's gonna be... This is gonna be a whole dungeon. And I'd have to be here. I've already been live for four hours. That's That's a good time to be live. So, yeah, yeah, it's not going to be pretty. And then after this, I'd still have to do Leviathan and probably Leviathan would be, there's probably way more. So we're going to, we're going to leave this for next stream. So we're going to go on a raid, going to go on a raid of Ruskies, Dooskies. Raid a Ruski Wooski. Ruski Dooski. Oh, Chef is playing Rising Tide too? Let's go right in. Oh my gosh, he just... He's in the area that I haven't entered yet. So I might, I might pass on that. He's in the area that I haven't ent entered yet, so... Uh, who is this gentleman? Let's see if I recognize this person. Nope, don't know who they are. Uh, 
Never mind. Chumpapa is live. Let's go check out Chumpapa. All right, let's go raid Chumpapa. Chumpapa is live. Let's go raid Chumpapa. Oh, thank you there, Patrick. Again, everyone's invited to watch the show with us. It's not just for me or just specific anyone. You will walk into like the final three episodes of season one, so... But we can run you down on like what's kind of happening if you really want to watch the show. I'd be great. It'd be great. So anyone interested that wants to watch the show, the show with Discord on Discord with us, we're going to be there. We're going to be there in a few minutes. So for those of you who who are interested, definitely do that. Let's go raid Alpaba. Love you guys. Yeah, he's streaming. He's streaming. Love you guys. Stay frosty. I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, for our collab with Zed. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more Frosty and Zed fun. All right, I'll see you guys then. Don't forget, at 3 o'clock, we're planned for 3 o'clock. There might be a little change, but 3 o'clock uh, Eastern time. Excuse me, 3 o'clock Pacific time. Let me correct that. 3 o'clock Pacific time. I'll see you guys there. Much love. Love you guys. Stay Frosty. Let's go right out, Papa. Bye, guys.